not every time. We actually had a good time of streaming and in internet use last time. Yeah, that's how it was. You know how I can tell? I can tell when I go to check my fucking stream and there's no fucking breaks in it. Like, it would be like a straight four-hour fucking session. You are mm -hmm. fucking stupid. Yeah, that's wrong with me. All right, I was cut. Yeah, we have other things before. Right. What if that's something on level two? We need to kill him. But we're on level three all at the same time. And we can't get to each other. All I'm saying is we should cover both bases. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound like everybody just disappeared as an hour. No, no, no. I pulled a double camera for Lewis. They yeah, got mad, they got mad silent. I was like, hello? Yeah, yeah no, my Lewis. freaking, my internet fritzed out for a second. All right. Okay. Another night. So what y'all think about what I said, nigga? I wonder if I heard it. You didn't hear it? I, we were cut out, me and Matt and cut, me and Matt were cut out for like, Right, like, I'll say what I said first. Like 10 um, seconds. And then you say what you said, man. So, Claudia's goes, um, Claudia's goes, like, this place, level two. The intricacy and level of detail of this door, the fact that it's very difficult to access this area. I believe that this is where probably our main fall lies. I think it's best if we keep together and probably we should kill your. Level three out first before coming to level two. And then that's why I jumped in there. And I said, well, what if we need something from level two to kill him and we're on level three and we can't get out? What if level three is just a big trap and level two is where we're supposed to go? If we split up, that means the whole team would be trapped in one side for the other. I mean, that's just my thing. Describe to me, Meso, the door down there, or Cynthia. Well, uh, Cynthia hey, describes the door. She says it's a, it's, a, it's a circular door, possibly, and, and clearly from the uh, the placement of where <clears throat> um, the eye stalks are around the, the shape of the door. It's made so that the beholder can open it. Hold on, that's also level three, that's level two. Are, they, are both doors the same rules? Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, yeah she that. explained to you that it's the same door. <laughs> ah, I missed I missed that part, I guess. I didn't hear that part. All right. <laughs> All right, so now what, what, what Mr. was saying, too, actually makes more sense to me, actually. Yes, that's right. I do got some plans. Well, you know, that's, why, that's why we have to, like, talk with each other. Sometimes, I admit, you know, we mix certain things. So the lady right, says, so in that case, while, while it may not be a good idea to put to put everyone in the same trap, the same can be said if the group is split up, but the full might of the group is needed in order to take down Orbis. I do believe that this, the group split in half cannot undertake Orbis alone. All of our might combined is needed. And that's not even taking into consideration Lady Grigliati and her shield guard that might be here as well. And not taking into account other followers, which I'm sure are probably just as strong. And also, Orbeus Associates, Black Sin 7, my old, um, my old colleague and trader from the Dark Walk, from the Dust Walker clan, the Enchanter, he might be around as well. We have to tread lightly. Splitting up means that we one group may fall to a trap, but that means that both groups are dead. Because if one group falls to a trap, the other will not be able to carry out the rest of the mission. However, if we stay together, we may fall into a trap together, but together we'll have the best chance of escaping it. Since everyone necessary or everyone in that, uh, in that trap will, be, uh, will have a resource to lend to the group in order to help escape. But if they're not there because we split up, then that party is doomed. It seems like splitting up is a bad idea to me. So we should stick together then. I also agree. Messor? I do what you guys say. 
You guys are the planners. Good. Any objections? If we're all in agreement, then we need to decide now which level to proceed through first, either level two or level three. Level two. Let's start with two. All right. In that case, um, let me see. Lewis, is there a ledge here that I can walk over here? I'll just climb up. Well, because we could use um, Claudius as thinking. Characters now, well, are skilled in climbing. No, yeah, but there's necessary. not really much Claudius of goes like, not much of a I'll ledge see, there. Claudius goes like, I'll see what I could do to open the door. Then we'll use benign transposition to get everyone up here. Um, I don't need that. Save your magic for me at least. Well, for those that need it, I, I'll start climbing. <laughs> I'll start uh, climbing. And I guess those that are strong, they could have a rope and try and freaking pull people up to. Uh, or I'll just use a rope as I get up there. That's what I do, baby. The rolls are rough. Let's save everybody's magic. Let's go. Climbing rough walls. Just get my cat. Valencia, Valencia mentioned, Valencia mentions he has a potion of light. Yeah, but save that stuff, guys. We, we can use it later. Right now? I'd rather yeah, save the benign transposition than save the potion of fly. It says it all right. Fly is only useful to me because it's a potion already on my person. A benign transposition charge could be useful for anyone. So to burn the charge to me is, is more painful than... Alright, Lou, I'm rolling my climb check. Don't worry about the charge. I just got me a new What's one. your speed? That's 50 charges on this thing. Your oh. speed is uh 60 feet, right? So you can climb... Damn. You can climb with one move action, one quarter. I gave my old one. I gave the old one to Cynthia. One quarter, six, so fifteen. Yeah. Or you can climb Cynthia fifteen, pipes thirty goes, feet yeah, per I round. Yeah, I have the old one. Oh shit! Right, <laughs> thirty <laughs> feet per round with two checks for every with a check for every fifteen feet. DC is twenty five. I just barely beat it, man. Why? Right, what's your total bonus? Fifteen. Total bonus is fifteen. Oh, you could um, you could take ten on that. Be yeah. Oh, you could take. Uh, I'll take ten. Yeah. You're allowed to take ten as long as you're not in a stressful situation, combat. Like, like combat or something. Yeah. All right. So take ten every time. So you guys see Metsuo get over to the wall and he just climbs up like an expert mountaineer. All that time climbing the mountain with the with the dwarves. He's like a backpack. And then I take out the rope and say, "All right, guys, one by one, grab on, pull you up." Um. Well, you climb up there. The door's not open yet, so you kind of just like hang on the wall right now, like where? Well, I'm excited. Claudius goes to relate now. If it's alright with you, I would like to attempt to open the door to make room so when people start coming up here, is that alright? That makes sense. I'll be vigilant. Alright. Claudius is gonna get to work and try and open the door. Alright, roll me a otherwise the one is gonna be able to roll a engineering ship. Engineering? What the hell? Look yeah. <laughs> I'll break the door down for you. You want to break it down? Just let me know. Give me the word. Ah, uh, nah, man. That shit might be some sort of artifact. Just, just let me know. 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 Let me I can use deafness, right, Louis? Um, yeah. Help? That's just a zero successes. What the? F <laughs> you got a total of nineteen. I forgot to put the plus sign. That didn't count. There you go. 21 times. Roll my low. She said zero successes. 21. All right. On ND dies do cross zero on a 1D20 roll. You notice? <laughs> you notice that the, the the door. Um. 
You estimate it to be about three feet thick. It's a hardness of eight. That's the wrong fucking um, that shit. <laughs> for somebody to break that down, DC 50. <laughs> with, with, with raw strength. Um, the, as for the locking mechanism... Uh -huh. The locking uh, mechanism. Is, so what would be for metal lock to bring it down? The locking mechanism that's on it is extremely like, like they must have gotten some Lantanese engineers oh, to work shit. on this door. This is DC DC forty five open lock. Jesus Christ, DC forty five. Let's lock. If anyone can do it, Claudius can. What's your bonus? Thirty. Right. Oh shit. Uh, let me throw my bonus out late. No, I know. Um, also, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Uh -huh. Mirathon, since he's up there flying, he points out that there is magic aura on this door. Okay. And it's a, he's like, um, Go on and get food. You're right like I, he's like, I sense a, uh, I sense a moderate evocation aura. Uh, some sort of trap power. And he's like, he's like, I sense it on the on the door on the like on the, because the uh, the door has, um, it you know it's styled to look like a beholder with the eye stalks, and then each eye stalk actually has like a different colored gemstone, and then for where the central eye is at, there's a you know a, there's a crystal the size of a human fist that's right there in the in the center, and uh -huh. he uh, he says there's an aura emanating from the from the central eye. Um, as well as auras that emanate from all the crystals, huh. and doesn't take a he says, to figure this out. Um, this trap mimics the eye rays of a beholder. He Any said, mistake, and I possibly will end up being petrified, scorched to death, paralyzed, or outright killed. So yeah, so yeah, he detects you know magic device trap that's on what, there. That's, that's what Claudius says. Making an educated guess. It can be, what do you call it? You sen he senses a. What's your perception? Yeah, your perception also spots the. Uh, yeah, it's like thirty. The, the, the intricate, what do you call it? You know, the um, magical mechanisms towards the for, the for the trap that there is a trap on it. And. Uh -huh. um, what do you call it? Disabled device DC thirty three. Would uh would disarm the trap. All right. So Claudius goes like he tells Mirthon, Philion, and and um Amesua, there's a very risky trap and door to open. I will please ask you three to get below in case I set up one of these traps. So the risk will be minimized just to me. So basically, he waits for Mirthon and Florian and Mesua to get below um, danger. And then he starts, he takes out his tools, you know, focuses. Can I do deafness too while I'm doing this shit? Or no? Since he's not like in combat or anything like that, he's taking his time. Who, you? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Shouldn't, shouldn't be that difficult then. So he's going to do a disabled device then. With the trap, if it's a trap, he gets plus one for a trap. Remember, he also has that glove of dexterity plus four now, so that's an extra plus two to that skill. So it's uh, 32 then. But with deafness, 32. Plus 32? 34. Oh, plus 34? Oh, in that case, you take off the trap, no problem. Claudius goes like, Ooh, okay, I guess I won't be getting stunned. I mean, I won't be getting petrified, disintegrated, or killed outright today. I'm going to Now, time to try and open this locking mechanism here. It'll, it'll take me a while, guys. Give me a few moments. So you guess the work. Metzwa turns back down and says... Master class, Mage Claudius. You seem to be having trouble with this. Oh, there was two auras. The aura, oh. the evocation so aura. Is... Oh, I thought you were. I got a forty-eight. What are you talking about? Shit, that's not like it. 
Oh, you're picking locks, my bad. He's about to pick locks. Um, no. Mirathon says there was two. Mirathon says there was two auras. One was the force, not the force. One was the evocation aura, which is gone now. So uh, the other one's uh, an abjuration. But it doesn't appear to be some kind of. Would it be abjuration? I guess it would be abjuration. It says an abjur is a uh, moderate abjuration aura on it, but he says it doesn't. Uh, I mean, he um, Claudius mm -hmm. notes that there it doesn't. Claudius, with his perception and his uh -huh. and his uh, trap finding, oh, that you are able to notice that um, it's whatever that other aura is. It has nothing to do with a, a particular trap of any sort. It must be. It, he notices Alertness. the the aura is on the the central the central crystal of the door of the of uh -huh. the eye and. Um, even if it's not a trap, can I? Yeah, can it's I not a trap. It is? Um, I guess you could roll. It could be an alarm spell or something. I want to know. Yeah, you I, could roll, I can roll. Um, what it is. You could roll a spellcraft. All right. Now I was gonna say, how do you feel about the betrayal of Baron Zemo? Like, did you like that they did that with him, or? I think that that that's perfect. Because that, I was basically another hidden thing you got was Baron Zemo's origin story. You got it just now in that movie. So that was Zuma before, before he puts the mask on. 21. Alright, so you notice that um, you were able to detect that the door is actually keyed to opening when uh -huh. um, when a particular spell is, um, is focused on the gem itself, on the crystal. What spell is that? Um, Claudius couldn't, was Claudius out? wasn't able to discern what spell, but he just, he just, he knows, he's aware of the workings of this particular unique, uh, abjuration on this, on this doorway. Um. Probably alarm. So either a particular spell can open it, or open, or an open lock check would work also. Disabled device would also. Probably work. knock. An open lock, you mean a knock spell? Yeah, mean? disabled device. Um. The same with the device will work. He's gonna do for now. Um, damn, also, the, basically, the, the purpose of that abjurational arcane energy that he detected is just basically like a, a key, a magical key mechanism, right? That he, it could reopen magically. It's not like an abjuration, long spell, and like crap, right? Right. Okay, good. So he's gonna try and do it one day. He's gonna, before wasting any magical resources, he got the max spell, but he's gonna try and do it. With lock picking tools. Manual dexterity. Alright, here we go. Hold on, it's not a trap, so I gotta lower my modifier by plus one. But it's gonna be 33. Open locks. Oh my god, a two? Alright, 35, that probably didn't work. No. Can I try again? Yeah. What, Claudius, you can do this. Focus. That didn't work probably, right? No. Can I take 10 or no? What happens if you fail by 5 or more? I don't think Can I take 10 or no? You could take 10. Yeah, but no, but 10. Yeah, if you fail by 5 more, don't you break the lock or something? That's why I need to check. Right. I don't think so, but... I think you break the lock, yeah. Well, if that happens, then... Uh, knock spell, can be. That don't work, man. I got a knock spell. Yeah, that'll work. Plan C. That's what. <laughs> the whole. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, yeah. No, you did nothing. That's no bad happens. So what'd you get? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. 41 didn't work. <laughs> Claudius is working. <laughs> yeah, making me work, son. I never failed on freaking open like this. Good thing you guys I... are in the middle of a battle. Like, hurry up and open the door. You're yeah, like, I know, right? Fucking bullshit. Oh, ah! one. I probably broke something. <laughs> sure, this is Can helping think... me. This Can is helping me keep <laughs> keep track of <laughs> your buffs are wearing down. <laughs> All right, keep going. 
I guess I gotta make more. Okay, forty-seven. Now I'm on time. Forty-seven. All right. So after about after five minutes. Yeah, minutes. <laughs> after about almost a little over half a minute, you managed to get it open. Oh really? It was that quick? Just half a minute? That's not that bad. Yeah, these one one round per check. Shit, I still got like action time. Yeah, four round action to open a lock. Yeah, so it's five rounds. Yes. Yeah, uh, so the door opens, but with your engineering skill, you're able to notice that the door is not going to stay open for long. The, the the mechanics of it has been has been the mechanics of the door. Now I know this. Has or been no, no that, yeah. Now you, now you know this with the now that it's opening. The mechanics of the door has been set in such a clockwork fashion that it's such an intricate clockwork fashion that after about 15 seconds, it's gonna. It's gonna close completely again. Quick spellcraft check. If I were to use a whole portal, the spell over one would keep the door open. Because I think Kai has that one. The party's no Whole portal? I think it keeps it keeps the door shut. It doesn't keep it open. Oh, it's the opposite? It keeps yeah. it shut? Yeah. Oh, shit. Never mind. I thought it kept the door open. No, nah, it keeps the door locked. Because Claudius was quick with whoever went mentally in the brain, telepathically, since he said I'm quick to communicate. I managed to get the door open. However, it will only stay open 15 seconds at a time. So we have to work quickly. And it looks like I might like have to open this door several times and see if all of us can get Yeah, Claudius so, realizes it's all out of character. So, and mechanically yeah, so, speaking, it'll stay open for three rounds. I think yeah. after the third round, so, it'll so, shut. So, so, yeah, so, and anybody. So, so, <laughs> Anybody caught in the, in the frames as it's shutting will will uh will, will get crushed for ten d six damage per round. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Louis, how far is level two to level three? Like feet? I'd say about uh, I'd say about a hundred feet. So would um would Benadryl's position work? I think it's like what like a hundred feet range. Oh yeah, it sure works. Like a should be like a hundred. Excellent. Feet. So Claudius goes to Messor, Felion, Mithon, get in there quickly. I'll use Benantra's position, 15 seconds, that should be three rounds worth of spell right there, with the one. To get three of the people down there, then you three can fly up, and we'll repeat the party. We're, we're, we're rolling in uh, level two, right? Yeah, you're level two. All right, Messor, come back up, I think. As soon as, as, soon as Felion, Messor, Mithon go in the room, Claudius is, you can set it, you know, He's gonna cast three B nineteen positions. So you have Elena up first, followed by Kai, and who else is down there? Well, the, the dream team first, obviously. I can climb. Don't you have climb? What kind of fucking? Yeah, never mind. Kai, I don't know. I don't think Kai is going. Oh, yeah, so Wait, who are you talking yeah, about? So have... <laughs> who are you talking about? Yeah, so Kai, Kai, we, we went over this. He, he just does not know how to. He don't got. He don't know how to climb. He don't even got a grapple hook. <laughs> So we're gonna you don't even have a grand round. I remember that. We're gonna that. have a lane on Kai up there. I can fly. Why are you up there already that flying? Well, because if I flew up there, I wouldn't be that much of a Kai's... Yes, it would. I'd be crazy with Jensen or something. Kai's so, climb yeah. is plus zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys up there, man. You got like three charges. You go for these one charge. I lose. Who, Zino? So Zino has a... Yeah, he does. It's a flight three times His winged boots? Fly for five minutes per flight. Have you used it yet at all today? I don't think so. Yeah, you used it at all? No. Use that shit, man. All right, yeah, if you use it, time. if you use one now, the next five minutes, you'll be fine. Yeah, all right, I'm going to use it. All right, Luke, so, all right, so, basically, the four people that are up there, including Simon, he's going to replace them with a Lanum, Kai, Fario, Shenzhen, well, Shenzhen can wait, and Cynthia up there. Only Shenzhen is going to be missing from now. Shenzhen can climb. Who? She can climb, Shenzhen. Yes, she, 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 she can fly. She can throw a bird. She can throw a bird, yeah. So that, there you go. Only one casting. You got everybody in, and one, the one, the one, you know, getting the ball. 15 seconds. I mean, how many spells can you cast in 15 seconds? Three seconds per spell, right? Well, when it closes, you'll have to open it. You have to open it back up again. No, that's good. Fifteen yeah. seconds. That means he has four to five rounds to cast five and nine transitions. He only has to do four. So there you go, Luke. 
We can everybody at level two. If we want to fast forward it. Um, and I use stuff for my charges for my for my Wait, for You understand what I'm trying to do, right? No, I no, nope. I, I get what you're trying to do. All right, cool. He's gonna be opening that door. <laughs> It's gonna take longer than three rounds. Really? Well, because you gotta you think, whoever you're. For 15 seconds. But nine transposition switches two people, so you're sw well, you're trying to switch somebody that could fly with somebody that can't. But then right. That That's person has to fly. take. That person has to take the time to try and fly up a hundred feet, so that you can do it again. Well, 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 no, but it could all be done in one casting though. Like right now, I'm opening the door. That's already people that were below there, just waiting for me to open the door. Right. Go in there. Yeah. So as soon as they fly in there, then Claudia starts casting. I mean, if he has to open the door twice, fine. It's going to be field, but I think you could do it. Oh, you're cast. saying you want Metsuwar and Felion and Mirathon inside? You bend on transposition all yes. three. That's, right, and then as soon as they go in the side, I just start like replacing oh, each okay. four each other with the people down there. All right. Well, Metsuwar, Metsuwar could just break the door. If it lined out and crushed, nigga, I'd be so mad. Because <laughs> if you get crushed? Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? I mean, if you this want, Claud Claudius goes like, it is very, very durable. I mean, if you want to try and break it, you know, by all means, you might alert the entire area that you really did. Although they probably were anyways. Only if it's necessary. Go ahead with that DC-50. Yes, DC-50 is nothing. DC-50 strength check. Strength. strength check because my yeah. first my first punch does, uh, is, doesn't, it, it goes, uh, whatchamacallit, there's no, uh, what is it called, Lewis? Toughness. There's no toughness on my first punch. Mm. So it's just all straight damage. Alright. I don't know, man. That duel is very valuable. I think we could sell that shit for 10000 There you go. Hey, there it is. There. He's trying to sell the there. door. It That's what I heard. Right? I, knew, I know my Claudius. That's what I want to be. You try to know this. Yo, you saw those gems, son? You're not going to let Beso destroy that shit. We take it off the headless. Just take it with us. You forgot something. Do that appraiser check, son. You know Claudius has appraiser. How much of that door worth? He wants the door. <laughs> he wants so the that's door. That's what it is. I'm saying, like, why the fuck do you care about this door so much? Yo, I'm putting, I'm putting that door in the sanctuary, son. Nobody can break the sanctuary. <laughs> he, yo, even Claudius himself having a hard time opening this door. Hmm. It makes a great door. Wait, what do you Call want? This. The door itself? I missed this. He wants yeah, the want door itself. So. <laughs> How much a prison door? How much a door? It's a 5,000 pound door. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck you can't. I'll say it on you. That must be worth a lot. Do that a prison too. Nah, it's not important. Listen to it. Alright, so. Switching every Shenson's gonna need to be switched up there too. She can't get up there. I don't know. Can she turn into a bird? Can I do this? She, uh, she a could, raven or something? She could. All right. I I guess I'm gonna well, start at least I think twenty four percent. Oh yeah, leave her as paralyzed somewhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she can only wild shape once a day. Well, all right, Lou. This is what I'm gonna do. Metzor is gonna tie characters back. I'll just have a user yeah, action. Right, nah, right. I'll just have a user action point. Screw it. I'll just use an action point to wall shape. They can't get the beast. 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 So she. Wild shape. You're gonna have to listen to Lewis to y'all. That's just some calling ranks, dude. <laughs> she wild shapes into a. a fucking. A monkey. <laughs> You got monk level three. I'm going to say she wild, into, no, she wild shapes into a, into a macaw, which Claudius is uh, familiar with. Uh -huh. <laughs> is that that bird? Remember that bird that, <laughs> that yeah. was chilling in the tree? Yeah. Kai and was Kai like, was like why, why does this bird have intelligence of 14? <laughs> 14, yeah. Kai was like, what? Not 14, what was it? What's your intelligence? <laughs> it was like, yeah, intelligence of 10. Because yeah. I, forgot, I forgot detect thoughts. Could do that. He yoked me because yeah, he's sure. like, because he I try to um, 
What was it? I had her pass the save. Was uh, she she passed the save? Was some something like that? I can't remember exact details, but uh, I just remember him going. I just remember him going. Ah, uh, so you sure there's nothing weird about it? I'm like, I'm like, no, it's it's just a. You know, I know it's exact intelligence score. You know that, right? You know, right, and he's sure. like, you know, I know it's intelligence score, right? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, that's what the spell the does? Job, the job Louis was like, I need to invest in my children. <laughs> I said, what kind of spell is this? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the concept is, yeah, the concept is beautiful. Too bad that he never really got to use it much, the way Ty was yeah. used. The concept is pretty good. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Like you said, though, he never really used the it. Secret. The way you should, but... Um, Let's continue. That was so yeah, she transferred to... A macar and flies up there. As and then uh, transfer. Yeah, Metso can already climb up there. So it's one, two, three. You said I can climb thirty feet per round or what? Well, that's three characters you could switch. That still leaves Zino and well, Zino flies up there. What about Sinde? Zino can fly. Sinde can fly. Metso is up there. Slash Anthem Aspect? is up there. So that's she one, two, she three, she only cast it four. Like once so far. She can cast it four times. For how long does it last? Is it one minute per level or ten minutes per level? I think it's one, I think minute, it's minute, one per minute per level. Per level. Oh, that's okay. right. so, yeah, she'll need to cast it again. Metsuara loses his arm and he goes and gets the arm of Nair. Gonna call me the Winter Soldier from Wakanda. Cynthia. Cynthia and Zino is fine up there. Alright, so Koyce gets the door open. And which who has the wand? You do? Your wand? Yeah, you have your wand. Duh. Claudius has his own, yeah. It's, it, this is the first time he uses it, the new one. It has like 50 charges on it. I thought he had 49 charges. So you might want. But in, oh, well, alright. I think That's you, I think you did. Yeah, you did use it in an earlier fight. I can't remember uh, which okay. one. Uh, I, I, I just forgot. No, I think it was the pit. It's the last time we when used it. When Delaney fell in the pit? It yeah. was something. Uh, Finding that big ass fucking Draco Lich. That was the last time I ever used it. That motherfucking ran from Metz one. Uh, yeah, I remember it being used once. Yeah, you're right. right, you're right, you're right. I don't know if it was, yeah, it was, probably was Matt. I thought it, I could have swore it was in the last fight. You know what, I think it was, yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, but I, 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 I thought he brought it, because I, th I thought he used it to switch you closer to the Blue Duke or something like that. I can't remember what. I think I did do that. Yeah, I do, it, it's coming to me now. I think I used it during that battle. I switched somebody out at one point. Or brought somebody in. All right, so, yeah, mark down. I guess that's minus four charges, right? So 45 left. Four charges? Wait, one. Who'd you switch? One, two. He switched Jensen. Uh, excuse me. You switched Valenum, Kai. Uh, Fario and who am I missing? Cynthia? No, it was just three. Cynthia could fly. Cynthia casts a social aspect. So yeah, it was just three charges. Alright. I mean, Cynthia, you can conserve a spell if you want. Cynthia, the court is best Cynthia also. Alright, you can conserve it then. Alright, there you go. So, like, um, he'll, he'll, so four charges. Alright, so. <coughs> since you get the last person in, the door is. Actually, I have a fucking description for the uh, door makes some dull grinding noises and splits into three sections. Each section quickly retracts into part of the adjoining door frame. Once the three sections have fully retracted, the passage stands open and then starts to close automatically after about three rounds. So anybody crap. standing in there as it's closing in is gets stuck in there and fucking crushed with 10d6 damage per round. <laughs> Damn, 10d6 damage per right. round. Yeah. DC 15 reflex for half. Can we tell that... Alright, well actually I shall ask... I'll ask Claudius. So Cla he... Later I'm ask Claudius, um... How, uh... How much, uh... How much pressure can these doors produce if caught in between them? Because I don't think that's something I would really know because I don't have knowledge engineering. That would be knowledge engineering. I How think. much what? Well, it's DC 50 strength check to force it open. I didn't try to force it open, so I wouldn't even know. 
Like you're he, saying, no, he's strong saying he enough would to know. crush you from 10 d 6. Like, I wouldn't oh. know. Those. I, was, I was trying to ask Claudius. Oh, you know what Claudius would know, yeah. Yeah, Claudius, let me see a DC 50 strength check. What animal is equivalent to that? Something, uh, something, something with something. It would take something, something, have, something very. Like it would take something extremely large and strong to fucking open that door with just its strength. You would need the strength of a. Uh, all right. Uh, have we seen that? I know. Um, no, no, no. What's those? What's those things we seen before? Like I know. That? Uh, uh, every size category like above yeah. medium, you get an extra plus forty of strength check. So. No. Well, what's a huge creature would have a plus in the, in the abyss, eight bonus on top of strength. Or something? The what? The elephant? What? What do we see in the abyss that was mad huge? Oh, was like he's talking about the fucking, um... I don't know what he's talking about. The fucking yeah, behemoth, that behemoth shit. Yeah, it's a behemoth that fucking, shit. That uh, fucking big ass about. fiendish looking hippopotamus with like ten legs. I think, uh, yeah, those those would have been strong enough. Claudius was like, he mentioned the, the behemoth that we worked with. You know, uh, Claudius was like, remember... The physical strength of a leg that Lord Nathan will have when we faced him a few months ago. The sheer raw strength. It, it will take someone of that strength category to be able to push these doors open. Thunder so my beasts. Destination. So does that mean I can open it? Thunder beasts. That's what they were called. Claudio was like, uh, if you can just open it, I will really be impressed. So you can push it open. Let's put it to the test if you want to. I do not think. But 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 to make it interesting, why don't we wager? I'm going to wager 500 points. <laughs> and you can oh, push it open. Oh, Claudius. Well, actually, my, my idea for it was not a test of strength. I know that my strength, my true strength doesn't lie in something physical. My concern actually was to try and turn it into a trap. If we can somehow force Orbis through these doors, Perhaps use benign transposition to trick him into being in the way of these doors as they shut. We can stop the fight before it even begins. Good plan. Keep in mind that Orbius does not need to chase any of us with those ice thoughts of this. So we'll have to give him. So we'll, we'll have to give him. A, we'll have to give him, a, we'll have to give him a reason then. Cynthia, can you make sure that Orbis can't see as well as we should? We'll probably need some cover, something like. Uh, Our Lord was Orbius. Damn, was from even the fucking. Okay, jeez, even bad. those Thunder Beasts would have a problem opening. They'd have to take twenty trying to open the goddamn. Thing. Yeah, the Thunder Beast. Damn, so. That door is. Well, we'll need some. We'll need some cover then with the eye rays. Something like uh, obscuring mist would would work perfectly. Obscuring well, mist means that you have to get close to him. Because the center on the caster itself, which is very dangerous, especially with that eye ray of anti magic. So that means we'll have to put something, uh, we'll make sure we'll have to put person, that on someone who's going to be close support. anyway, like Metsawar. From personal experience, when you caught me off guard, halfway between Cauldron and the Sanctuary, my wife came to me. I had the opportunity to save her. And Orbius and his people came upon me. From what I was able to estimate. Sino, you remember, you were with me, you were knocked out. Um, and the eye ray, his anti magical eye ray, if I'm not mistaken, I think that it's standing all the way up to 150 feet. Is that a correct estimation, Lewis? Out of character? I remember that I was far away from him, and he still got me within his day. Wow, he was like, well, he was above you about 50 feet with, him, with the, the central eye aimed on top of you, so you couldn't. But then I ran, though. I was 50 feet, and then I ran, and I was still within. Because remember, I could have just immediate action, teleported, or whatever. And I think I, I got away like 80, 90 feet away, and it was not enough. What, when you were moving around? When I was moving, yeah. When I, well, he, when he caught you in an anti matter, you couldn't do anything. You couldn't immediate action, nothing. Um, couldn't do anything. I didn't have a move action? Couldn't do. I think you double moved. The most you could move was 60 feet. But he was following you on top of that. So, like, as you were moving, he was flying after you. Well, he was like, I remember him, like, I had, I, I, I had described it as like he was keeping you kind of like a spotlight. 
uh-huh. in, in like a fucking prison yard. Like, but his he had like a big ass wide. Ni- it's a ninety foot comb to like. Question: When you have he had that like, like on top of you, like a spotlight as you were as you were moving, he was just following you with it, making sure like the the, the well, anti magic yeah. area was on I, you. I so. have a question: Isn't that like a double edged weapon? If you have like the spotlight of an anti magic field on you know eye on, on smoke, or he can't do shit to you. Man. Right. Does that mean that he can not cast shit on you? No, no. That's that's, that's yeah. That's what's. Uh, I'll let you come to that conclusion yourself. But that's pretty much what Valena was gonna say next. Was that he 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 came upon you not by himself with the anti magic right? Because yeah, it wouldn't make any. If he if he had tried that people. now with the with the might of the full group, taking away magic wouldn't be enough to cripple this group. Because there are plenty here that could be quite a problem for him if you were by himself, even without magical aid. Right. You, on the other hand, with stripped of your magic, you would, you have very little resources to defend yourself, especially against him, plus his uh, his, his minions. So, the biggest danger that I face will be from his minions, then. Because if, he, if I fall, if Mere Sims will fall under his effect, he won't really be able to cast them. Precise. But you have to worry about his other followers. His other people is where we is where we come in. We as That's in right. ourselves. The more recording is happening to happening to a long time ago. Zino. Okay. Gotcha. And yes, even Khan. Or there's this priority. He's even more dangerous than Lady Riyadia herself. Hopefully we do not encounter them at the same time. And that's only wishful thinking. We have to be ready for all that. Even Actually, though, I hope like that we do. That happens, I, I'll try my best to separate the two of them. I would imagine that if Orbis and Lady Riavadi were to fight us, it would be a, 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 a reoccurrence of the battle we had between the Draco Lich and, um, and his, uh, his other, uh, his other uh, cohort, in which you had one who cannot use his abilities to to his full effect because it was being drowned out by the other. You remember that fight? Yes. I hope so. That's the case. They would make a bad matchup. Us, on the other hand, you being magic and us being the steel, that's the true synergy. Well, I don't really have steel, but I get your point. Strike us how to steal. Agreed. Yeah, I think you do the anti magic ray and she can't cash it, she's useless. <laughs> she like fuck. Right? Alright, the room. The room. The room that you ended up in. Uh, the walls of this 30 foot high hall are carved with myriad bass reliefs. Depicting various underdog creatures and terrains. This hall also holds an impressive collection of monstrous statues, arranged in a semicircle and all very lifelike. To the north, a huge archway looms. Two paintings hang on the wall to either side of the arch. The western painting depicts what looks like cauldron under a burning sky. The eastern painting depicts a beautiful but horrified blonde woman imprisoned in a metal cage that looks almost as if it were made of iron ribs and adamantine skulls. Iron ribs. Stand there in silence. Oh, oh me? <laughs> I described the room. Are you guys. Oh, no. I was talking, I was <laughs> I'm like, why is the man so quiet? He cares. He's just, he just admiring the paintings down. and the statues. Like. Chronicles of Rift, and people look up for any magic or potential traps. Vayden basically says. Uh, Rift says there's an aura in that painting. The one with the blonde woman. 
trapped in the cage. You are aware that um, Cynthia has on true seeing, right? Yes. There's nothing invisible or ethereal in here. Right. <laughs> Good to go. That um, that that painting up there. What is it? Trap? Some sort of enchantment? But he, as he inspects it, he looks at it. And he's like, "Wow, it's a strong." <laughs> I don't want to look at that shit directly, son. It might be one of those things that... <laughs> you look at it. Like it's called it. the Wailing, the Wailing, the Wailing Banshee, the Wailing Banshee. Some like bullshit like that. I remember somebody read a scroll like that. Oh, you started yeah, saying... It's a strong... Uh, it's a, there's a strong <gasps> enchantment on the painting. Somebody trapped in there? And, um... I don't know. Oh, I, I take it that means you're. In, in, are you looking at the painting closer? By that statement, or? I don't think I, I don't. I don't think I am. I don't think it's important for now. I don't want to end up reading a trap or some bullshit. I, unless somebody else wants to, Mirth on whatever he's calling there. Oh, but yeah, he says there's a strong enchantment aura on it. Um, I, that's up to the rest of the party. I think. If it's out in the open like that. Obviously, it's not. It's. They want someone curious to check it out. Maybe Kai wants to check it out. Let him. Kai walks over. And, um... He, he takes a look at it. He's like, well, be prepared to free me from anything. Just in, <laughs> just in case it does something to me. Um... Oh, you can just leave it alone. Well, he's not touching it. He's just looking at it right now, for the time being. So, he's looking at it, and just as he was, like, thinking about, like, inspecting it a little closer, he's like, wait a second. We know her. Devani. And he points, he points to the painting, and looks at the rest of the group, like, we know that woman in there. Who the hell is it? It's Sophila. And when he says her name, your characters all, f well, except for Metz. Oh, the noble? Except the for Metz. Was Zaino there? I, don't th I think he was there. I thought I wasn't there with him. I think I was there. Zaino knows her. I thought they were friends. For yeah. uh, chapter four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you were there. Yeah. All right, so. Everybody but Metsua, you flash back to way back at chapter four <laughs> when you got called for help by, by Sophia, yeah, who, owns, who owns the Cusp of Sunrise, and you guys went there for a special gathering of the rich and famous, pretty much. Mm -hmm. and hey, guys, why are you flashing? Sure <laughs> he said, why are you flashing? Sure that's a casting party. That was a costume party too. Yeah, it was a costume. Yeah, party. Oh yes, yeah, right. <laughs> I got my And this guy, yeah. Ricky, uh, uh, Ricky had Zalarian hire a tailor to make like a Nathatheron yeah. fucking costume. That yeah. fucking yeah. came in as Nathatheron. Like <laughs> He's like, I'm going in as Nathatheron. He got chosen. That's what it was, because everybody got an invitation, and it was like a, a symbol. And the Who symbol. Was he? he was Lord Nathathro. He was Lord. Yeah, he got chosen to be Lord Nathathro. Look at that shit. <laughs> now we know who he is now, because we know who. He is. Back then, it was like, who's <laughs> Right. Yeah. Back then, you were like. Well, he was taught. He was, you know, the 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 Lord Nathathro was talked about in like, uh, not just not just historical, but freaking. He was still around, like he was in the demon scar. Yeah. And then now you guys yeah, beat now you guys beat like, his ass. So <laughs> it wasn't easy, but yeah, you beat was, his ass. Yeah, he was there for centuries, and we took out an icon, man. Right. From the, you know, the legend. We took him out. I took out the. He's on the fucking front of the book cover too. For the adventure path, he's right on the cover. Yeah, he was no jokes, man. Like that could have easy, easy But let's just give it But um, all right. So yeah, he goes uh, um. So yeah, and your characters remember her. She was the one that had called you in, had invited you, had um, yeah, and had had presented to you, uh, quote unquote, Z uh, Zenith's uh, father. Yeah. 
Right. Which you've learned wasn't. It was a doppelganger in disguise the entire time. Um, right. And she had mysterious... She had... Um, she had taken Zenith when you brought him back and said she would bring him back you know, home safely. And she hasn't that. been heard from since that day. And neither has Zenith. And obviously you guys later on knew what happened to Zenith. And, but you still never knew what happened to her. Nope. And... Uh, we didn't even know she was listening to him. Right. And, and now you, uh, well, now you see, now you see her in this painting with a strong uh, enchantment aura mm -hmm. on it. I guess in that case, Claudius will, you know, interject into, you know, maybe there's something, maybe there's something we could do for this poor soul. So he goes to, he loses the copy of spellcraft check, so you're alone. There's something like, like enchantment or whatever might work or not. Let's see. Actually, he wants to determine if he really is trapped in there or not. Might just be a booty ball for all he knows. How would you go about? It's like magic, spellcraft, no starting. <coughs> you can occupant. Make sure it was that person that person right. should have um, roll, a spell, roll a spellcraft. All right. How about we figure this out later? I should take the painting off the wall and put it in my bag of holding. This is the person that might actually be trapped here. Damn, this, <laughs> this motherfucker got a 50. <laughs> he got oh, some, damn. hold up, that's like an epic skill check. <laughs> I need yeah, to look nah, at the goddamn epic. He knows everything, shit. What was her class? Do we know? Was she a bard? Wizard? What the fuck was she? Ah, shit. Oh. You don't even know. No, I know what she is. I can I can't go blurting shit out. Um, <laughs> from Kai, what? That's Kai. Kai would know. Kai, well, Kai. From what? From Kai. From what I got, she's just, Kai, what she was. Are, uh, <laughs> from what I know, she was just you know she was just a, a, a an aristocrat like the rest. So come on, you know you got the dirt on everyone here. This is important. What is said, true aristocrat? He said, uh, "We are not as local." Come on. Son. Now he had he had rolled one on her before. She no, I'm a, she, I'm a she has sense no heirs. Kai, son. I can sense more than now, guys. She has no. I she, know when Kai is lying to me. She has no family. She has no heirs. She's very rich and owns several businesses and owns some land in um in a in a small village. In that case, away from, you in a small village away from right. You're right. Put on your back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she doesn't like. She she makes her way through court very easily and smoothly, and gracefully, and so so he obviously he's, he's definitely someone with political connection. Yeah, understanding her to be like you know a decent maybe to high level you know aristocrat. Um, All right, well this is no place for an aristocrat, so we'll keep her safe in Mesor's bag, Good for her own safety, obviously. Put her in the bag alone. Yeah, go ahead. Um, spellcraft. Uh... What is the fucking son? That's like part of the highest DC you can right. be. DC fifty. That dude knows everything. Okay. Twenty percent. So here's what Claudius is quite easily determined with his vast intellect and skill and experience and things magical and spellcraft. Um. You realize he's come to understand that the painting has is actually part of um well who who's who grabbed the painting uh Metzler. Kai grabbed it oh Kai grabbed it oh that I thought Metzler oh I guess Metzler took it yeah. Metzler when you touch the painting you notice that it feels shockingly warm and smooth like living skin so me uh, wow like, we'll get you out of there man don't wish you were I put her carefully into the bag. Um, Claudius, you recognize the magic as, uh, as very similar to the, to a, to a binding, to a powerful spell, a binding spell. Uh, in fact, it is, it appears to be a variant form of the binding spell. Oh, um, interesting. Where, 
It works on mortal instead of extra power. It, where it um it binds a living creature into into a painting. Ooh. Um. Anti magic, and the disjunction spell would affect the painting. But magics, but a magic even but dispel magic would not work on it at all. Um, wow, not even. In fact, um, in fact, the painting is a. Uh, it can be destroyed. Um, however, any damage done to it happens to the person. Also happens to the one inside, but it, well, once destroyed, it will cancel the binding spell and release whoever is trapped within. The fact that <laughs> the fact that Lady Sophia was not killed outright. She must hold information that is very important. Keep her safe, Messua. But uh, yeah, destroying it won't kill her though. He knows he knows it won't kill her. It's just dealing the damage to right to break her out and the painting itself. The magic that's the magic that's on it. It, it the magic that's bound to it. Um, it act it'll regenerate at an extremely fast rate. Um, as somebody's trying to destroy it. Uh, but, um, so it has you, to be yeah, done like a lot of damage or something. Ah, uh, not too much. Um, your engineering skill was able to um, discern that it can be broken with a DC of thirty, or and it only has sixty hit points with zero hardness. Zero so hardness, sixty HP. And if and if not and if enough damage is done, <laughs> she'll safely be out of the, the trap of the spell. Yeah. The the mine. Well he, he relates this to the party. It's up to you know, it's up to you relating whether you think what knowledge she holds is important to us. I will say this though. If she's freed, her life will be in danger. But the fact that she's still alive kept here for safekeeping she must know something that's very important to Orbius and the rest of the case rights I'll vote I vote the same way I voted on the last one let's give her freedom and then let her fight for it she can't live her if the, the here's pretty much the way it is if we fail this mission she stays in that painting for the rest of her life that is correct, and we are fighting people that we do not know if we're going to succeed or not. We could free her now, and she could die free, or we could free her now, and she, we could succeed, and she can live free. But either way, her fate that she has now, she's been denied a choice. Um, I guess, Cla I guess, Louis, technically you could coup de gras, an inanimate object, can have move, right? Like automatic critical. Like if, if, if Sion or, or, or Mesquite were to attack it, will they do massive damage? I think you can coup the gras. No, you can't. Kind of, no, you can't. Trying to coup the gras before I can't. Uh, no, you can't coup the gras. Coup the gras only works on living creatures. Got you. I don't know if anyone. Uh, I don't, well, Cla Claudius says that um, it takes very, very, very strong magic that neither of us here are capable to to mimic, to break it, or extremely brutal physical force. So if anyone here feels that they're strong enough that they can break this in one blow, then this is your chance to prove your mettle. <sighs> is it worth the risk? It is. I think I can do it. Come on, man. You wanted the big doors and shit? There's your chance. Go ahead. All right, then I'll do it. Take out one of my bottles, Lou. Go to full. Put on my drunken key points. There we go. Going to use, uh... What the hell is that thing called? One second. Shattering punch, Lou. Shattering Oh shit, this guy got hidden techniques, son. What shit like this? Well, it doesn't have any, um, I know it doesn't have any hardness, but he just wants to do it. Uh, oh, okay, so that 
bypasses any damage reduction too. More hardness possessed by the target of that attack. <laughs> Just in case. Does that work against Adamantine? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I told you that door out of mangles. Um. Alright, roll, um, roll your damage for the, roll your damage. It's an automatic hit. Hmm, one second. I'm gonna use, uh, la, 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 la. Drunken strength. How many points can I use? I gotta look at the levels for it. 1d6 at level, and then I have 2d6 at level 10. And also 15 is 3d6. Okay, so actually 2d6 for two key points though. Two, two. I take it he's gonna, gonna drink. Two swigs after he's done. Mm-hmm. Alright, add roll the add the two D six to the damage. So is that A D should be three D eight plus Oh shit. Three D eight plus about that. uh that bitch ass damage. Three D eight plus three plus two D six. Two D six. Points of damage. As he can have flurry blow it, right? Strike it. That's just, just, I know he can keep attacking it. Yeah, he can flurry it. <laughs> He's oh, throwing it up flurry. in the air. Yeah, like, but, but as your first hit connects, um, the painting it the, um it takes it takes it takes a good amount of damage. Not entirely broken yet, but it takes a real good amount of damage. However, as 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 you hit it, it's like you um you hear these mental anguish and screams fill your mind, oh, sure. and as if oh, as if it's coming as if it's coming from her from being hurt by the attack itself. And you look at your fist after you've struck; it is blood covering your fist, and there's blood oozing out the painting as well. Oh, that shit hurts it. Oh God! No, I'm sorry. It won't kill her, but she's like she's suffering from the from these attacks. <laughs> so that's why you you that's why you know you 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 know she's you know if each attack she's he's aware that breaking her free means he's willingly has to cause her to to, to suffer to get her out. With with physically that is. There's no way I could do this. Then. I can't hurt her. There's a chance I could kill her. I'm not willing to take that. So as you stop after your first attack, you see the painting, the damage that you did deal to it, like it heals it 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 it, it it's got it heals itself twenty hit twenty hit points per round. Does she heals also or no? Oh, she's not actually like taking damage. Like she's not taking damage that'll kill her. She's su but she's suffering the pain that's coming with it. Oh wait, so I can fucking break her out. Claudia's gonna like You could yeah, so you could break her out. She's gonna have to suffer while you're trying to break her out physically. Claudia's goes to mess up mess her. Her suffering is just momentarily. You must break her free. Or she'll be or her or her imprisonment will be any work the worst the worst face that you could provide for her. Get her out. We have Cynthia here. She'll mend her wounds. <sighs> Please forgive me, miss. We have made we have to make difficult choices in our line of work. Fury of blows, Lewis. Full attack. Okay. Goodbye, Saint Hood. Now he's fucking Claudia, you listen to the bad Claudia as well. <laughs> you know Lewis is like taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that. You would not think that. This guy said, "Yo, you said that so evil just now." He said, "Goodbye, Satan." Like, <laughs> oh my god, he was like, "Goodbye, Satan." You doing it for the greater good, son. You doing her favor? He said that like the fucking devil himself. She suffering that. Goodbye, Satan. 
Oh shit! <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I was gonna no, say like, Kai, yeah. Kai, Kai had, like, Kai had uh, pointed it out. Time. Kai had pointed out to Metsuwa. You think you can do it? You think you can oh, willingly Kai, yeah, cause her Kai. this kind of suffering just to free her? Willingly, yeah, even though you know time. there's other ways, such as through magic, magic that our spellcasters lack. Shut up, Kai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, push the button. Please forgive me, miss. But I will get you out of this painting. Fury of Blows, full attack. <laughs> As e- with each hit that's connecting, there's blood. Yeah, look at that blood in your head. Blood and your head screams in your head, and it feels like you're. It feels like you're. You're, all, you're starting to feel a little like a monster at this point, but after a few blows, you. Uh, Feel the, dark side. <laughs> the painting breaks as it breaks freaking and shatters her um the painting itself like it just, it completely disintegrates away and but her body in a flash of light appears on the ground but then I spin around and <laughs> could throw a blanket over her Cynthia Wait, she naked yeah naked she's naked I would say she's on the ground and with oh, she has a heel skill. Oh, uh, Blade Mash has a heel skill. She's not naked. Oh, Cynthia. Right. Hey, you got a blanket from son. You mean like oh, Blade? All right, Blade can tell that she's just unconscious. She's still alive. She, she's not. All right. She's not in a dying state or anything, but she's basically at like negative. Unconscious. Blade tells us to party. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Good job, Metsuwa. You successfully freed her. She's just unconscious. I'm pretty sure that Cynthia can, uh... Yeah. Can heal She'll be alright, man. You did good. Metsuwa doesn't reply. He just has, like, a... A sad kind of feeling in his chest, and... My friend, he disgraced himself. You're like, my friend, you saved her from eternal agony. You've done good today. So Cynthia goes up and Unfo- she... Unfortunately, magic is not the answer for everything. Your mind magic was not able to do this act of mercy for her like your fist was. She burns... You should be proud um, of yourself. Her endure elements, her ice slick, and her shirt casting spell to heal this woman 3d8. It was 3d8 plus 11. So it would be 3d8 plus 33. All right. There's one thing in particular Uh-oh. about her that you notice that's different now push, than push it was before when you first met her. Pushing the Anakin's. <laughs> you notice, I mean, originally you guys met her, you knew she was uh, an elf, uh, a wood elf that had, you know, moved into the region and had, had uh, established herself. Um... Now, she still looks elven in features, except it seems to be a lot less mortal elf and more like an immortal. Her features, her features look more heavenly, more graceful. There's more perfection in her, in her features. Um... Like off or the hair was originally blonde when you met her. It's, it looks more like a shining gold. And her eyes. <laughs> her eyes are um, completely opal. Her, her eyes are completely pearly and opalescent, and they seem to give off a radiant aura. Um. Do that knowledge jet. Was that knowledge plane? Yeah, planes. Yo, that's funny. I don't know knowledge planes. Uh, uh, that's not planes. 33. Yo, know, uh, so look at this. Look at this, boys. Check that out. Not the video. The picture I just said. Gross. 
That's good. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. What the fuck it hurt? Lewis, fact 392. Spider Man spoke more Captain America Civil War, 47 lines of dialogue, than Superman did in the theoretical cut. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, 43 lines of dialogue. Wait, who had more lines? Spider-Man had more <laughs> lines than Superman, you said? Superman in his own movie. If he was a Captain America. I told you, man. I told you, man. Yeah, Wait, Jesus which movie? Superman. Wait, Superman had more lines, had less lines in which movie? In his own movie. In Man of Steel? No, in Batman vs. Superman. Oh. Yeah, I always, I felt like he didn't really talk much in there either. And he, I told you, he was just there as a face. He was just silent. He was like a baby. <laughs> Any time he spoke, he was like... <laughs> he was always mewling and melancholy whenever he spoke. Like, it wasn't... He I already knew anything. Batman was going to steal the spotlight. They should have scored at Batman and, everyone, and everybody else. <laughs> Batman I, I and the Justice League. Batman, that, and, everybody like, else. Batman and everybody else. Yeah, I he, think that the good Batman. directing and the good storyline and, and, and the good cinematics of Man of Steel hid a very strong and underlying fact. That, they, that the person who's currently playing Superman is just a guy that they went in the gym I... and said, here, play Superman for us, please, because... You have black hair and you're muscular. They didn't check to see if you can actually act. Or maybe he just has he, the physical looks, but that's it. Yeah. Or maybe if he can't act, maybe there's something they're not exploring. Whatever the case may be, there's very little acting coming from Superman. Yeah. I did not get that Boy Scout feel from that dude at all. At no, all. I like, he's, what about? Right. He's, he's not captivating me. Like, so his Superman is not giving me hope. And that's what Superman is supposed to do. Yeah, I know. This, this S means hope. I'm like, okay. This means hope in my home world. <laughs> Why I feel so depressed next to <laughs> Yo, and you saw the follower from the dreamscape? They look like zombies, man. They don't even look like people. They're like, oh, the Masonic. No, they look like a bunch of cults. A bunch of cultists, yo. Like, like Superman, be your God. No, right. Oh, you talking over. about the Day of the Dead people? He was in Mexico. Oh yeah, that's true. Almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Say Mexicans, you know they always poop. Yeah. They ain't they like Dominicans, so they all got money. <laughs> and they always what vote? You said? I said Dominicans always got money. They do. Yeah, nigga, you're gonna be all girls be sleeping with everybody got money. <laughs> not there, not everybody got money. That shit. If you, if you fucking in the yard, they were like, "Yo, fuck everything over here." Anybody see that picture of Earth Two Lewis up close? Yeah. <laughs> the non teller Lewis. And... Yeah, that nigga is for real. So I said, "This nigga Earth Two. A man, a few words. Don't, doesn't get distracted. Yeah, just kind of. It's a melancholy. <laughs> I just yeah. kind of missed it. I'm throwing a melancholy through the window. <laughs> yeah, what's the song? Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh. That's from um, John Lennon, I think. Yeah, one of the Beatles. That's my old friend. <laughs> that was from Watchmen, right? They they played all, that also on Watchmen as well. Mm-hmm. That song is that song is man I find it when I see Batman. He's sitting there like, yeah. Hey, That's on Batman. I 
fuck out of the woods. Fuck out of the woods. Cynthia get? No, I'm not sure. Oh, three. Three. I think it's odd, dude. We hope so. I believe it's odd. Fuck Zod. All right. So, what you see, what you, what you, what, wait, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you get total again? I got 43 total. 40. So here's what your characters have identified this celestial being as. Which clearly, you guys are also. Which clearly proves that you guys. Well, you got true seeing on, so. You see. Cynthia has. Sees all this shit. Um. Um. Which means you guys got duped by her, in a sense, on top of being duped by. So there was two shapeshifters there that entire time, and they didn't know about each other, and you guys didn't know they were they weren't what they seemed either. Um, she's definitely an Aladdin, a celestial, uh, I guess the, a I celestial it. race I I native, <laughs> native to the Aladdin. native to the plains, um, that are more chaotic and good in, in alignment, play, uh, especially. Especially the realms where the elven gods live. Goes by many names. Um, but because of your knowledge of the plains, um, there are other worlds that call this plane Aborea. Um, the Elagians are known uh, um, knights and lords who roam the cosmos in search of good folk to aid. Free spirited, mighty champions of good, chaotic. Basically, chaotic good celestials, the epitome of, of the of the balance of individual freedom and and uh, free spiritedness, um, tempered with tempered with the holy holiness of good and righteousness, resolute foes of evil, fearless, clever in battle. So uh, Cynthia withholds her heels because she knows they're not necessary. Dark vision, 60 feet. Low light vision, immunity to electricity and petrification. I know, I can probably summon her. Resistance to cold. <laughs> Resistance to cold, 10. Fire, 10. Tongues. So, uh, automatic tongues is on. They can speak with any creature as a language. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, so that's, that's, that's the basic Elagin traits. Um, she is more distinctly um, a gaily Elagin. They are the night er <coughs> The, they are the knight errants of the celestial race of the last. Awesome. Without any warrior. Don't know. Um, wherever evil and tyranny raise their ugly heads, the Gailies respond. Working behind the scenes more than other Elagians, they quietly muster resistance and offer guidance to any of good heart with the courage to stand against their oppressors. They are known to be able to take the. Oh, it's not like the angels from that movie. What that movie, uh. With all the meal in it, with his angel. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, they are known to also be able to have the ability to take the form of an incorporeal globe of eldritch colors. Um, so, hello, darkness, my friend. You know they got a constant team the series. They usually uh, fight color. in their humanoid form. Um wielding mighty great swords. However, if they desire mobility, they can assume their, their colorful globe form and blast enemies with light rays. They have an immense amount of divine magic at their disposal. 
on top of their natural uh, abilities of magic, um, they also granted. What the fuck is all that noise? Is that Darren's end? Coming from that side. What the fuck is he doing? Rubbing his ass against the fucking <laughs> against a fucking billboard or something. Um, on top, on top of their inborn uh, innate abilities. The magical abilities, which they have a lot of, they also have a ton of uh, very strong in their in their in their divine magic that they receive from their service to the gods. We hit that jackpot here, son. You got a strong player. On average, most of them cast as if they were 14th level clerics. What? 14th level clerics? Spell like abilities? Mm. They have spell like abilities. They have spell like abilities on top of being fourteen level cards. See, Miss Ra, beating her ass up was for the greater good after all. In humanoid form, their gaze has the ability to slay evil creatures. What the fuck? I never heard of that one before. And even if the even if the evil enemy succeeds in surviving, they're still affected as if by a fear spell. <coughs> And they are constantly protected by a protective magical holy aura that functions, that gives them plus four deflection bonus to AC, plus four to the saves. Oh, it provides a plus four bonus to AC and a plus four resistance bonus to anyone within 20 feet of her against attacks, against attacks made by uh, evil creatures. Oh, protective aura? Yeah, which is a twenty. It's twenty foot wide, or anybody within twenty feet of her is protected from evil attacks. Nice. Plus, plus four, the plus four deflection bonus to the AC, plus four resistance bonus to the safety. Right, right. So it's basically having her, having her, having her nearby is the equivalent of wearing a ring of protection plus four and a cloak of resistance plus four. Jesus Christ, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna be around her as well. Um, it also functions as a magic circle against evil. And a lesser globe of invulnerability, also with the same radius. What? Immunity to level three spells and below? <laughs> Yo, I'm binding her. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you just broke her out of a bind. Her. He's gonna so bind awesome. her right. This guy's ready to bind her right back. He's like, Shit. hold up. Go back to where you come from. You're, 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 you're mine now. Mercy. You're my mercenaries are fucking weak. Look, they got fucking one shot. Need to get me one of these, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a Sophia, son. Jesus Sophia, God. whatever. <laughs> Sophia. I'm just fucking around her. You are a conjurer. First, I'm a, you first are... I'm a freaking bind the drama and now Sophia. I'm gonna have all these angel concubines following me around. And yes, Cynthia, eventually you too. Once you become he an angel. said angel concubine. Oh, <laughs> shit. This guy is... <laughs> Can't wait to see what goes on outside. Let's see what goes on outside. Got that em ass, ambrosia... Please. That ambrosia vaginal fluids on it. <laughs> smells like honey and, 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 and it smells like honey, honey and, and promises. Protect me. <laughs> Hold on, Lou. You said Gail Knight. They're like knights. Yo, be my knight, lady knight. Protect me. They have a extremely fast fucking flip. They have fly speed. Jesus Christ. What? Perfect fly speed. 150 feet. Not like so. They can I'm shift surprised. between a humanoid and globe form. In humanoid form, they cannot, they cannot fly or use. It's I did not light know it But it can use its gaze attack and spell like abilities. Like here. In globe form, oh, I, okay, that glow form flies like that. Damn. As for some of its, uh, uh, as for some of its spell like abilities, it's pff, Jesus. What you got? A forty-three. They're known to the, I, now. These are the, the av, now. These are the these are the average. I'm, uh, this is this is a description for an average Gaelia Eladrin. You know, you, you don't know anything in particular about her, whether whether she's you know cream of the crop of her kind or below average or just the average. You don't know anything about her in particular, but minimum at least. You know, these are all the abilities you can be sure that she has. Um, that's what spell like abilities aid. Charm monster, color spray, comprehend languages, continual flame, cure light wounds, dancing lights, 
Detect evil, detect thoughts, disguise self, dispel magic, hold monster, greater invisibility, major image, see invisibility, greater, well, greater teleport, all at will. Wait, greater teleport? Could you teleport us around too? Self well, plus well, 50 pounds of, only herself and plus 50 pounds of objects. Ah, uh, uh, I thought it was bad. Damn. What else you got? Once a day, chain lightning, prismatic spray, wall of force. All these are at cast level 12. Damn. Uh, what about, you said that she's a level 14 card, you said? They're extremely strong. They're stronger than ogres. They're leaf like elves. Stronger than ogres. Stronger than ogres. They're about as strong, strong as hill giants. Leaf like, uh, like elves. As hardy as dwarves. Extremely intelligent and wise and full of confidence and, and celestial presence. Sp of course, they have spell resistance. <laughs> and I, yeah. I mean, between you and Cynthia, yeah, you care. Damage reduction 10, evil, and cold iron. <coughs> yes. Yeah, we need to pop this girl up. I'm going up there in the front lines with you, Elena. Yeah. Makes sense. But she's there, yeah, past, she's, right, so she's currently there, past, right on the floor, unconscious. Cynthia goes over, and... Just cast a, you know, Cardi goes like, we can't be going to the group. Just do a, a few pure, you know, spells on her. Right. It seems that she has the capability to heal herself. We need every resources we can get. Because we don't know if she's going to be willing to help us or not. So, don't, don't expend too much of the resources on Although I know you're impulsive to try and help her as best you can, which I don't blame you. you know, I know that she's attached to the queens and like that. But she knows better than us that these creatures can heal themselves no problems. And we, and we need our healing. So Cynthia goes and hits her with a kill light. Why are we looking at Darren's wall? Which cure light? Uh, which, uh, oh, she, she burns indoor elements for a cure light. It's a domain spell. Can't do it. Um, sorry, she burns short casting. Alright. She awakens. As she awakens, she's like... Her opalescent eyes, they... They see... Well, they... They, they, um, they open up. Yeah. They stare at Cynthia for just a moment, and then it's as if you see complete understanding on her face just within those moments as to what had just happened. And so she rises up, despite her condition, she rises up as if she wasn't hurt at all. And then she looks around and to see everybody, to, you know, get a good look at everybody in the room. She closes her eyes and starts to focus. And she, as you can see, like, the wounds that she has, she slowly, she slowly, vitality starts to well into her being, little by little. And, uh, as she's doing that, she's, uh, looking between the members of the party, and she, her voice rings out as if, uh, as if it was... When she speaks, it sounds as if her voice was like echoing with inside your own bodies, but not not in like a jarring kind of way, in a in a in a in more of a, a tingling, uh, uh, a tingling like massage, like like you're getting like kind of like you're getting a soft massage kind of a way, like it just it feels good and at ease, like relaxing in a, in a sense non-threatening um her words are my gratitude to you all for freeing me and I'm sure you have some questions and Cynthia says in Celestia uh, you're a long way from home a high one how did you find yourself in this predicament <sighs> 
while you were rescuing Zenith, I began some investigation on my own. Is she speaking to Celestial? No, she, well, she's speaking, but she has a tongue. She has a constant tongues effect, so everybody can understand her. Okay. Perfectly. Um, I, I, I'm not Celestial anyway. Never mind. So while you're rescuing Zenith, I began some investigation on my own. I was hoping to find a solid lead as to who the conspirators were. And when you returned, I was going to ask your aid in exposing them. My investigation investigations led me to confront Velantru. I realized my error too late. He's not the ha he's not the Tashalan human that everyone assumed that he would that he was. He would also boast about having a little bit of elven blood in him. That also is not true. In fact, the man that Kaljan takes to be Velantru is in fact just a disguise worn by the true Velantru. A beholder known as Orpus. Hmm. What? That's insane. I tried to escape, but he got me with one of his beguiling eyes. And for the next few days, I wasn't in my right mind. Eventually, he and Thiferain Riavadi used a scroll to bind me in that horrible painting, and now here I am. Her well, magic is quite strong that she was able to get you in that binding spell. So, Valanche was I suspected. All this time. You get a flashback. That little bit played. That little bit played. You get a. Song. The later you get a flashback to the uh, yeah, drinking competition. Drink competition. <laughs> and now it all makes sense why you never won. <laughs> you start because of your high heel check. You were able to. You're able to recall that the anatomy of a fucking beholder. Doesn't quite. Uh, it, it, it breaks down most alcohols with ease. Yeah. <laughs> Too much yeah, ease, in fact. Yeah. It can't and really get drunk. It needs, it needs to be special him. blues yeah, out there yeah. just for a beholder to get drunk. He must have had a high level of detection because I did have the spell, I did have spell magic on his ass once. I mean, I did spell magic, detect magic, and I did have the techno magic in my mouth. Yeah, that's for, yeah Claudius, at the time, you're thinking either, was either my magic, yeah, either my magic wasn't high. strong enough or he just happened to have strong magic on him. By it the way, you detection. yeah, you weren't at that time able to detect. Nah, he was too. But he had plenty of abjurations and, uh, uh, on him. Um. So yeah. Wow. There you go. Questions. I guess well, that, uh, that explains a lot. It, what is the if anything, I'm surprised I'm that I'm surprised that that Valanchu, or should I say, Orvis agreed to have such a contest with me. Seeing as how losing it should have tipped what would have tipped his hand somewhat. I mean winning it would have tipped his hand somewhat. I always found it odd that for someone who was claiming to be just a normal person was able to imbibe more poison than me. Lady Sophia, I have a question. Our our obvious outfit, nineteen seven. That's enough. Are they here also as well? I could not tell you. I wasn't able to sense much of anything in that painting other than loneliness and and pain. But only if the pain was afflicted upon, which I, I realized see. was necessary to even break me out. I forgive whoever it was that had to do it. We count on you to aid us she in this looks, endeavor of She looks over to Metsawa and she's like, I take it you are the one. We count on you to join us in this endeavor, in our, endeavor of ours. To take down Orbius, down once and for all. She turns, um, she turns to Chloe as she speaks, and he goes, she goes, fortunately that I cannot do. I must return to my patron immediately. Claudia 
says, it's like, we let to Cynthia, but he's not surprised. And he talks telepathically, you see? He's up at these celestials. No offense to you, Cynthia. But they care not the plight of mortals. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're... Uh, we was that telepathically? Yeah, we should get more. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, okay. <laughs> right. Claudius is a scuzz, obviously, and you know, <laughs> we wasted enough time and get whatever information we need. Does he do anything to hide his disgust or no? Yeah. Say again? Does he do anything to no, hide his disgust? He doesn't hide his disgust. No, he doesn't. But she doesn't send small she, uh, she takes note of your disgust and she, 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 she confronts it. She's like, I'm aware, Claudius, that you find it unfair. The choice that I had made. Trust me, it's not a choice. I, it's not a choice. If I had my own way, I would be glad to take my blade against that's the, the foulness that's the of it. You celestials have no free will. I that you want to help us mortals, but yet when you can, again, you riddle by and do nothing. I am, I am used to it by now. I will be. That's because the Celestial is in such a bad manner. At least, at least pay your debt. We free you from your eternal imprisonment. At least. <laughs> oh, shit. Aid us in this battle. Metzalar, do not worry. For with my centuries amongst mortals, I do understand that their impatience is as thin as an orc's tolerance for peace. You may not understand now, Claudius, but you will later. Sometimes there are bigger things that need to be taken care of. Yeah, I do believe it's not up to us Celestials to hold your hand every minute of the day. You've gotten this far. It is only right that you carry on the future of your people. You have proven my point. By doing this yourself. You Celestials and the demons of the abyss, you're all the same. You're always meddling in our affairs. Perhaps one day I'll be powerful enough to block all of you from this world. We do not need your meddlesome hands to be interfering with our fate. I'm pretty sure he just means the demons. Forgive him. Are also outsiders, meddling again with our affairs that took our loved ones. <laughs> that is an issue you shall take up with the gods, not with me. And if you wish well, to face the gods on that matter, well, I wish you all the luck in the universe. May you recover swift and soon. I do have no ill regards towards you. Although, as you can see, I am a little irate. The frustration and the agitation, I completely understand. And I am of the Eladrins, which means freedom and individuality and the freedom of choice as you put it are the things that we cherish highly other things that we highly cherish so for me to have to decline this for my patron should indicate the manner of importance of which i must take my leave I thank you all, and that this I will promise you will be rewarded, whether it is with my assistance, or an item, or items of value, or even a favor from my patron. It will be Perhaps your political be influence to you. might prove helpful to us. After this is said and done, we might need some leverage in the city, especially with the population. They might not trust us. I especially agree. after we take Valanchu. Orbius. I agree and I will bring it up with away my, from power. I will bring it up with my I agree and I will bring it up with my patron should my hopefully my presence here in the future it will be Who is your patron near. if I may ask? A powerful archmage from the north. And unfortunately, no, I cannot and do not intend to give out his name. I see. Secrets. I think we have spoken enough. I bet you farewell, fare thee well. Claudius tells the Valetno, she has her own agendas. I think we spoke enough to her, but at least she's not an enemy. That's obvious. I think we should move along with our mission. We're wasting enough precious time here. I can Carlos move off. Sorry if I caused you anything. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Cynthia shakes her hand. She says, she says to the to the celestial, uh, she says one last thing to, to the celestial before they, they leave. Cynthia says, I understand your uh, your pension for duty and for law. But also, I hope. For law. No, not for law, sorry. I would say you're, you're pensioned for duty and, and individuality. And for individuality. However, I find it very disturbing that someone such as someone such as a, a new drama was willing in order to really defeat evil at, at its core. She was willing to abandon her, her entire existence of pursuing law in order to defeat evil, in order to achieve a greater good. If so, if a creature is dedicated to, to law and balance, as the drama could turn her back on her own existence in order to see this endeavor that we're doing complete, I, I certainly hope whatever it is that you think is the bigger picture is truly worth it all. Godspeed. And then she leaves. Should the time ever come that I am able to divulge information, it will be given to you, and you will surely understand. For now, all you can do is speculate. And by then, such information will probably be obsolete to us, because we'll probably already know. We already said this telepathically to his party, not to her. I leave you off with this. Before I must, before I must return. Your dealings with the cage rights are going to be immense. They are indeed. But what I have to do involves something even bigger. Hopefully something that you wouldn't have to involve yourself with at all. And if it does involve you for some strange twist of fate, you can count on me to be your ally. And she's like, must be off. Farewell. So, that was basically her way of saying, y'all shit that you're doing is self-contained. There's other shit that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I say so as one guy my ass beat I ain't doing that shit again that's what you say huh? uh ah shit um we just we, I mean if she could say that or I mean that's great we just disagree we know that we don't do this the entire world will change so unless and she's on this world if if, if whatever she's pursuing was something that's like bigger than this world, then she would be where that is, not on this world. The fact that she's in this world, she's already interfering, even talking to us, so she's a hypocrite. Right, so that's why, even crazy. Cynthia knows that. Cynthia's like, oh, I'm, I'm done. Like, I mean, I understand you know why you don't want to help, but you know, Cynthia, your excuse is Cynthia knows, considering her knowledge in the planes and the celestials as it is, Cynthia knows. Cyn no, Cynthia, do not, do not. Yes, she does. Do not I'm telling you that like, she do knows. Not, do not try to, like, Make me want to agree with her. Like you control some of these actions, but like you don't control like how she feels about stuff. Wow, I understand. Like, actually, Cynthia's actually, yeah, because we because we when it comes that's to that's a first. Claudia's that's creativity. That's a GM player. Extra share, player share, matters. Share. matters. That's a okay. first. All right, Normally so you can't see the agreeing. Oh, Vladim doesn't like that. I'm saying not agreeing actually makes sense. Cynthia not agreeing, I don't Cynthia see how that Cynthia not agreeing makes sense. New Drama wouldn't agree either. Just because someone... If anything, Cynthia shouldn't agree with what New Drama did. No, Why not? Cynthia agrees with what New Drama did. Which was to Why not? break her lawful Why not? ties. Like, in order... She, no, she sacrificed that. Be like she Captain took the, America, the pain of walking the away from Mount the Celestia world. in order to fight the greater good. That's what Cynthia Captain knows is. that she doesn't understand at all what it is that, that's going on. Even past. You guys are self-contained in this small region. It's of not self-contained. It's, it, it, it's not the entire... The entire it would be self-contained if it was just about 
cauldron, but it's not just about cauldron. You're talking an entire planar shift. Carcery. You're affecting. You're affect. There's a multi a multi planar situation that's happening. It's not. The abyss, carcery, it's not so much. Right, but it, 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 it won't affect the whole world. Damn, it does you affect don't the whole know, world. world. It'll affect this region right here. No, you're changing the way the world works. No, you're changing the way the game. That was the game. <laughs> so what do you mean? The, the cosmology is the way that okay. it is Okay, right Cynthia. Now. That what? So what I'm saying is, Cynthia knows that there. She's probably no, off handling no. something that would affect the entire. There's world. no reason for me to assume that. Claudia, yeah, there, there is. Because no, right, that's it, yo. Because she called it out and said, said so. She basically said so. She said what you. She said it. She said what you're doing now, you can handle. Yeah, and that, that, I can't that, meddle in it. Planet, I have something course, bigger to do. Course, things planet. that I have something you know, bigger that I hope you don't course, have to involve you know, yourself in. But it's bigger than this. Right she is saying with her vastness of knowledge, experience, and centuries, centuries, <laughs> centuries <laughs> of, again, of, uh, of everything yeah, that. I'm not going to be shoehorned into just following along with whatever the plot wants to say when it's, when it's a weak answer. Like, I'm, I'm I like. You, this, this celestial whatever just basically <laughs> took the information that we just gave her about the, this world as it is now, the being in middle, and brushed it aside. That's what Cynthia was getting at. She wasn't getting at the fact that whatever celestial was saying was, was wrong and that it wasn't that's, I'm not, that's not what Cynthia was getting at. Or not just That's not what Valenius thought was about. We got to go more focused on house. there's something and evil that is test. threatening to it turns out destroy aliens. the way things work here and it feels good. And the that's not something that's like, oh, let's it's uh it's local or it's self-contained. There's no reason for me to worry about it. If anything, you should be like, all right, I got something to go handle and I will address this at a later time. She did say like, that. Or I will she did help say you that. in any way that I can. But she me personally, I can't stay here. Because there is something that's going on right now. But like she was dismissive. That, it was the well, attitude, what, no, that wasn't though. what she was trying to come off as. She was trying to come off as. But she was. Like, like the way that she talked to Claudius is very intimate. She's like, I can't hold your hand and step on the way. Like, it was, unless, unless that's just well, the way yeah. that she is. I don't no, know. that's the way a lot of. No, 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 I know. She has no charisma or not. But what she said to Claudius, like, no, it's just we're the way, not here to hold your hand every step. That's just the way. Of the day was their hair exact never, words. They've never been holding Cynthia, your hand. I don't know what the fuck you talking no, about. That's why Claudius Cynthia, responded Cynthia, so hostily. Because with the way she responded see, to Claudius was like, kind of it was very really dismissive. That's what, that's what, and for kind of someone like. like and Cynthia like, knows this. Cynthia hands. knows that I'm one of the things she understands about Celestials is that. Some of them do he get. Kind of some of them do grow impatient when it comes to mortals oh, on right. their knees. Please, 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 please help me every every it five seconds. It doesn't make any sense, Louis. She just got freed from. Forget it. Her getting like, free doesn't like, mean anything. It's it not relevant to the situation. I get that, but don't try to change my mind as the player. Let I'm not me, trying to change your mind as the player. You I'm trying did. to. You, Cynthia you, has tried, all this Cynthia. knowledge. So I gave it to you, so you can have Cynthia believe that. But me as Valenum, I don't want to believe that. I'm gonna see how it is. My group just risked our lives and spent our resources to free you. And when we ask for you to try and like weigh in on yeah, trying to fix the problem that put you in there, your response was. To be dismissive as if it doesn't matter. It was when and, kind of clearly, and, and rude about it. No, 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 no. You guys were rude first. She said, I'm not I, you, she man. said, I'm arguing with you as Ayo, and I can't win that fight. And I'm not in character. I haven't recorded. Story. I'll just rewind it and I show you what I, I said. That's, she I, said, I, 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 she wasn't saying, she wasn't dismissive. I'm, 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 she wasn't dismissive until Claudius got disgusted about her answer. Then she had a reply to that. No, she was dismissive and condescending, which is even worse. It's like, oh, you more of those. No, she apologized. The first thing she said was, unfortunately, I can't help you as much as I want, as much as I would want to. I have to go. So why are you interfering? It go sounds like that now. You know, the first time around, it sounds dismissive and it sounds like that's not how like, it was. It didn't go down. Uh, it, was, it, it didn't was, get like that until she until she addressed uh, Claudius's concern. Well, Claudius never even said anything. It was discussed. It, I, I, I just want to move that. on. It's okay to have a celestial that we don't like. 
we have a celestial that we do like not even celestial or something no because that, that wasn't was how that wasn't how I was trying to portray her She's and a bitch. I need to I, no I need <laughs> right along. I wasn't let her go I was trying to portray her I need to do a I take mean, back I, I need to do a time way. ebb to freaking why can't you just let her because that's not because I can't role play a freaking celestial being it's not easy I just I don't. Let it roll. I mean, no, I need she's to. She's not ex- staying anyway. Let's, she's, she's not helping the plot any. But let's just move forward. She's gone. She's, she's gone from the story. No, because it just it she doesn't make it doesn't make sense that my cool. inability to role play her the way she should be is causing is causing uh, prejudgmental freaking uh, feelings among the players, and it's like that's not how she was supposed to be portrayed at all. So why? That's not fair though, cause like it's like I sh- it's like I hand everybody an orange and they all assume it's a lemon. Like no, that's not. I'm trying. Yeah, but we're in, as players, we're in the same situation. Like we can't fully role play all our stats all the time. Sometimes we make mistakes. We gotta just roll with it. That's true. But I'm the DM. I can't let mistakes. Happen. <laughs> all right. So, so what do you intend to do now? Like what we're supposed to like? It's so weird. We're gonna do time that we have to re role play. Active, no, right? I have to. I don't even need the role play. I can just explain what kind of a person she is and how she handled the situation. I don't even really need the role so play. So then we would know that out of character, or we would know that in character, but we won't feel that I would, out of character. I would, well, I'll have to explain in character that she um, diplo- diplomatically had 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 uh, explained to you guys and. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's wave a wand over. In a, in a, a quick, uh, she, in a quick, in a quick, that we all liked, and then she was like, we allowed it. We right, I can't role play. Look at her goddamn fucking diplomacy. I can't fucking do that. I mean, you could just let it go, because, like, honestly, she's she doesn't really matter. Unless she's sticking around, like, it doesn't matter whether she's rude or not. It's okay to have room celestial. No, she's so worthless, she didn't even give us no valid intel. What's up for bodyguard always has nothing. Oh, uh, this lady, shit that we already know, Lady Ruviati trapped me in there with Orbeez. Okay, Dude, thank she's, you. I understand. She's, she's chaotic good. She's you guys said she didn't try to, she didn't even try to offer, she said that. She said, I will, I, I will give you any aid or reward that you need. And eat it. But she's not allowed to. She's not allowed to freaking do what she wants to do, which is going and fucking kill Orbis. But. I understand. Don't worry. She's, don't she's worry, a chaotic. Don't worry. She'll be, she'll she's a chaotic good celestial that follows rules. I get it. Against her will. And so love I'm playing. And the drama was lawful good who broke one. So I let know. it go. That's that's what Cindy was bringing up, but that's <laughs> which is weird coming from two that's lawful mouths over here. Like yeah, because if, break the rules. It's Cynthia, like what? what are you Cynthia, doing? Cynthia, 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 from your yeah, point no, I meant Valenum and Cynthia. Not Cynthia and, and Valenum sees things from your drama's point of view, which is a law may be in place, but that doesn't mean that a law is not broken. Or a law doesn't need to be fixed or amended. Listen, man, that's that's amended. That's that's amended. That's all, that's all to God. So until they amend the law, which was stupid that they caused Nicole to be in the past, she had to take over to fix it. Listen, man, that's all respect to God. So until they amend the law, which was stupid that caused Nicole to take over to fix it. Listen, man, that's all respect to God. So until they amend the law, which was stupid that caused Nicole to take over to fix it. Listen, man, that's all respect to God. So until they amend the law, which was stupid that caused Nicole I don't know. But, so, okay, well, I mean, I'm just like, letting you know that Cynthia is also aware why Celestials don't. You, you control Cynthia. You made that clear. I'm not, I'm not controlling so I'm not Cynthia. About Cynthia's reaction. I'm just worried about. I'm not controlling Cynthia. I'm giving her the knowledge. Well, I'm telling her the knowledge that she possesses to help her understand what is going on. You told me just now when I said you don't control Cynthia. Yeah, yeah, she was like, no, that's not true. It's, what she does, it's a right? shared thing. So I'm like, all right. So, you well, yeah, because if because if if a player starts to abuse the the cohort, I have to step in. I'm not abusing her. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying her. I wasn't abusing any power. So well, you said she had to agree based on the knowledge that you gave her. So that so okay, so you have that, but I'm saying doesn't agree with her. I'm saying you lack the context that Cynthia has. Okay, so you have it. So you control Cynthia, and I control Cynthia. <laughs> So Valenum lacks that context, so now what's, I can, no, can roleplay Valenum the way uh, I would what's, like. What's, what's Valenum's knowledge of religion bonus? Even with Valenum's knowledge of religion bonus, which is not as high as Cynthia's, I'm still allowed to roleplay Valenum the way I like. Okay. So, so that's what I'm doing. All right. And I don't want to like this Celestial because she was rude to my friend. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's basically what it comes down to. So like, she was... That's it. 
She was blind. She was kind of turning sad. She was blind. She was blind. She, she was rude. She was hold your hand. She was so blind. She, she said like, thank you. She said, how is she ungrateful? That's what I don't understand. Upon being released. Because she got questioned by a mortal. Of course she was. Yeah, a mortal who freed you. Oh, she oh got, so no, because she got yo, questioned yo, by a mortal, she doesn't like deserve. The yo. mortal person yo. doesn't deserve. I, I don't understand you mortals sitting here like, not, you should be bowing in like yo, tears right yo, now yo, in front of a celestial. But you guys are just like. No, we're never, we just, we just, I got trained by a celestial. And we just freed you. That doesn't make anybody. You have the power that to free yourself. Make... Anyway, I'm not gonna argue with you because you're an AO again. This is silly. I don't even know I'm talking to you. Get right out of here, please. I'm gonna go back in character. Ant Man forced side by side with Captain America. He still looks up to Cap. I'm gonna go back. He doesn't mean he freaking is going... on equal footing with Cap, does I'm he? Does back. he? I'm not gonna. Right, this is getting derailed. I'm it's not getting derailed. Right, it's so not so getting obvious. derailed. Let's move on to the next. It's not getting derailed. We we want to help mortals, but yet we treat you mortals like shit. Like you're second class. So all right. Yeah, because okay. mortals fucking they Guys, mortals not, are like children. Uh, that's that's not, that's 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 what that mortals Brody's, are like little kids. This is not. This is this not going to go anywhere. Man. And abyssal people, they have hidden agendas. They don't give a fuck about mortals. Pichardo, am Pichardo. I running Pichardo. a game Pichardo. where the characters are all let's, atheists let's or something? Take, let's I don't take get this in character. We could talk in character while we're doing this. I'm not talking about gods. I'm talking about demons. I'm saying in real life, I saw goddamn Celestia. I don't even talk shit. Don't engage Louis out of character anymore. Let's just take in character. We can talk. Let's go back in character. Leave the way, Alright. So. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this yeah, is a, no, 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 no. This is a DM establishing a campaign rule. This ain't nothing about. What's the rule? Oh, here we go. Now, so no, wait, wait. wait. Let's, let's just hear the rules so we can abide by it and move on. So, what's the rule? What's the rule, Black Lady? What's the rule, Black The rule is I need to be heard out when I'm trying to explain something. Okay, let's hear him out. Go. Well, I was explaining it, but you were being dismissive about it. I am because you win. It, it's not. It's not in character. So it's, there's nothing. I don't to win about. anything if my players don't get. Don't understand anything. I understand. Understanding is different from agreeing. I understand what you're saying. I don't agree with the character. That's different. I don't understand what's there to disagree with. She has to go. Okay, what's there to disagree? I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't debating it with. I'm just saying. That's the case. I I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to dissect this because I need. I need to know what I did wrong with the celestial. Then it's the fact that she treated Claudia the way she treated him. Right. That's all we can. She saw Claudius look disgusted. What's up? She saw Claudius disgusted, and she she explained his. Well, she, he was just like dismissive, like, wow, okay, the good the celestial's not going to help out. And then she basically was like, oh. Well, yeah, she got this, yeah. She, she. You need me to hold your hands? Like, being mad dismissive and condescending, like. She Ooh. addressed his disgust. Now, and then that's why Claudius looked at Cynthia, see Cynthia? That's why I don't like your ilk, little people that you associate with. I, you know, and even Cynthia, like, trying to look down, like, oh, shit, now I see what Claudius and then I, and then well, that's what I'm saying. She was up there for 30 days. She was surrounded by that. I don't understand why. I didn't rule. Well, you had her. You controlled Cynthia. Right. I didn't play Cynthia and Mount Celestia. I, I, I just know. said that she went there, and apparently you control the way she reacts to shit. So you can ask her to do whatever. But if Elena was around at all time. I'm not saying I control what she reacts to. I'm saying. I'm saying she has a completely different perspective than anybody standing there when it comes to celestials. Understandable. Which because is, you had cool. her, because that's... you had her focus on them, and you had her go up there for thirty days. She uh, understands that, that the Eladrin had that every that right to feel the way that she did. Her. The the All right, well, that's out. that's for Cynthia. Right. I'm not. I'm not role playing. I'm not contending that because you said you control Cynthia. I'm talking about the lady. Valenum feels this Valenum sides with Claudius. Okay, I'm not talking about Valenum either. Okay, but I'm only speaking as Valenum because Valenum. that's my PC. And 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 Lewis is only speaking through Claudius because that's his PC. Yeah. Right. And you're right. just trying to explain the NPC point of view, which is Cynthia and the Angel. And we're saying that we understand that they had to leave for whatever for the reasons that she put forward. We I just don't like how that. it happened. Maybe. That's all. We thought that she would be condescending. That. That's I know. It's it's not it's not anything it has anything to do with like the mechanics okay. of the game. Okay. So when you say that you're applying a rule, yeah. I'm curious. How I'm, I'm just I'm just rule. curious if like a Didi was here and done the same thing. Then the Didi would have been rude. 
It would, it would, would be, it really? It's would it really be considered? Would it really be considered? In character, Valenum doesn't see... Valenum doesn't see the point. The way Valenum sees it is like, if in my mortal life, I have found a way to speak to even my enemies in a way that still gives them respect, no matter how powerful or strong that they are, and I have the wisdom to pull that off in my small lifetime, then a being that has... A greater view and understanding of an entire yeah, multiverse, and way more years, millennium, like, in order to perfect the same craft. Strong, but they strong. wouldn't. It doesn't make any sense took, why I mean, now, Lord, that, that would be an issue for them unless they did it on purpose. It was like they put so, like a for someone, for an entity nine. that exists for that long, you know? and in such a great capacity you know, credit, to, to come off as rude it. or crass or abrasive, is because they meant it, which would be weird because we just helped her. So that's where the label is coming from. It's, 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 but, and I thought simply would follow the same way. It wasn't really about the fact that, oh, I can't help you. It was about how it was delivered to a mortal. Like, it doesn't, if a god did that, they would be I know, and right? I'm trying to. Unless it was an evil god, then that would make sense I'm why evil god would be. I'm trying to explain it because the way, from a hurt. What you're saying makes sense, but the thing is, is that. She got disrespected first, because yeah, even, even though she wasn't, it even though she wasn't, though she wasn't able, even though she wasn't able to like hear what he said, she could, she could tell what it was that he was. Yeah, thinking. but that doesn't matter. It would be like, it would be like if I was talking to, to El, to, to to Xavier, and then and Xavier did something rude to me, after I was kind to him, and I got mad and retaliated. It'd be silly because my scope of reality is so much larger than his because he's like two, compared to me. So that for a celestial who's supposed to get like offended easily, right? You see, like it, how I'm much times have you had a con has this celestial had a conversation with like someone who's rude to her first? Like you know, you know, billions of times over the course of her existence, but yet she reacted in a way that was like more mortal than it was like a, like befitting an attitude like that should have. I get no, man. I get all that. But she lost she that doesn't mean that doesn't mean a celestial can't lose their patience at least once every century. Fair enough. Yeah. So yeah. If, if if she loses her patience, then but we're allowed to to have feelings in regards to that, which is all that we're doing. If she has if she's allowed the right to to lose her patience that we're allowed the right to not like when she does that. And that's all we're doing, is yeah. disliking the fact that she lost her patience. Exactly. Anyways, like, let's go back in character. Oh, let's take it from, like, the last thing that she did. I don't know. I That's different for me, because if no, I... If, I think you just want the Celestial to no, not have like, dirt if, on her fingers. No, because if, like, a Celestial or a Dirty had, had, had been upset and disgusted with me, or whatever the case may be, I would feel guilty. I'd be like this lie. mighty being before me is like upset with me. I guess I did. I guess I fucked you up. You would blame yourself, and that. But see, the thing about that is, blame or, ass or assessing blame is really not. It's it's really a matter of personality. If you have a very strong personality, the the last thing you probably do is blame yourself because you're used to success or you're used to being. All right, so right. somebody like Valena. Valena was not gonna either. blame himself. He would just. So look are at we it saying that people with low charisma should be doing that? Yeah, people with low charisma would be like, like, well, what should I do? Honestly, yeah, that's probably be more along the course of like decision making based on behavior. Well, well yeah, so someone like Messua would feel that way then. Yeah, someone like Messua would be like, well, maybe I did something. Well, then what's Claudius's girls then? I don't know. What? Yeah, like, I don't know so anyone would feel that way. I look, I'm going to go back to that. That's what Claudius is going to say after she just now does her type of Well, he thought it's an insult, you know. Claudius goes like, well, keep in mind that this mortal is the reason that you're alive once again. So go enjoy the rest of your immortal existence. Claudius, do not test the patience of the, of the mortal angel. I apologize, man. Or whatever you want. You do not need to, you do not need to apologize for me, my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gratitude that you get. Have some self dignity. Respect yourself. Be proud of your humanity. 
Wait, what? Wait, what? What is he saying? They know better than you are. He's saying this to who? The Mesoamerican. I thought the celestial left. No, he's saying this to Mesoamerican. Yeah. No, I was apologizing to the angel. The angel left the Mesoamerican. Mesoamerican, your high sense motive notices that Claudius is. Fuck these angels. Metsua, your your high sense motive captures uh, Claudius's arrogance when it comes to planar beings, since he's caught up in the power that he can bind them at will. At least there you that's, that that's the DM I know. He knows that Claudius does not like outsiders. There you go, Lewis. Keep it going. I like it. Not, so, Metsua, you, you you sense a uh, you, you sense you sense when it comes to the divine, Claudius can get quite blasphemous when he wants to. He's like fuck these angels. <laughs> Only person that he like respect as far as the divine is concerned is like Cynthia and the Latinum. That took a while for him to earn that respect. Anyone else? He don't like divine, divine people. Uh, oh, stay, divine! Stay. They're not even divine. Yeah. Freaking agents. Yeah, outsiders, pretty, pretty much. Not even agents. Like, they're, they're like helpers. They're angels, <laughs> they demons, they channel it. Yeah, channel it. Just staying for the. You got high. You got high sense motor. You should be able to. interrupts he goes enough of this we're wasting time and we're wasting yes. emotional energy with uh, being distracted by this to be That's honest with you to be honest with you as a as a as a colder night and as a, as a and as a fellow vindicator the fate of our world belongs in no one else's hands but our own and those who are willing to help us of their own volition if no one wants to help us so be it let's move forward I agree we are Cauldron's last line of defense. We he fell here, the city goes down with us. And that will not happen. So right. now we will go to the next heights. Huh? It's a we are. We are. We are. Super stream. Virtual reality. What is... What's... What's this little alcove up here, Lewis? North of the map. Okay, what was what? What's that little alcove over there north of the map? Oh, there's a... Another one of those 
doors. Oh, no stairs? No, the, the, the hold the doors. Hold the doors? Oh. All right. Kolodi is next to Valet. He looks at him like whether he wants him to open it or not. There's this one, and then there's this hall down the way. Is that a beholder door as well? The one all the way over here on the Yeah, left? there's two beholder doors. Not knowing where we're going, I suppose any door is as, is as good a choice as the next. All right. Well, this stairs you said is leading up or down, Lewis? There's no stairs. What are you talking about? Oh, for some reason the door, the, those ridges look like steps. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I thought to at first. All right, so let's open this door. All right. Is it is it is it possible for no? They're trapped, so we wouldn't want Kai to use his ability and then wind up setting the trap off. Claudia's um, see if there's any um magical traps set on these doors as well. Oh, he sees it. It's all the exact same. They're all the same? Yep. All right, so he's going to try and disarm the traps first. Uh, what's your... I think that's, huh? I think that's automatic. Would you get total? Oh, 34? 34, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all yeah, right, yeah. Automatic. Oh, it's automatic? Okay, good. So he disables the trap. And, uh, oh, by the way, since his disabled trap is so high... Can we reverse the traps? So if anyone else besides Claudia opens these doors... The oh, you want to be up. able to bypass it? Can you do that? Is that yeah. Only? Shoot. What? Huh? I can't remember if that's only... Crap. I can't remember uh -huh. if that's only with... If that's with any trap or if that's only with mechanical traps? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really... I don't really know. It might be mechanical traps only, maybe. I don't know. I know, I know there was something where it was like if you beat it by ten or more. Uh, I don't know. Where did I read it? The fuck is this? It's like uh, somebody's snoring. What the hell was that? Is that shit. Uh, no. if you if you beat a traps. DC by 10 or more, you study the trap, figure out how it works, and can bypass it along with your party members without setting it off. Uh, oh, but I cannot reverse the trap, though, right? Like, change, like, the... No, you can't reverse it. Oh, never mind. Then he's not... He's going to disable it, then. I guess it's any trap. I, I guess it's any trap. I thought it was just... I thought it was just, the. Uh, Magic traps. I mean, I thought it was just mechanical traps. I guess any trap. No. That's interesting. So it's like if you wanted to leave the trap intact. Right. <laughs> so it's like if enemies are coming. Like, all right, guys, let's all, let's all run through this. They don't know it's a little trap. But it's crazy. I didn't know it was a little trap. Well, that didn't work. So bizarre. It's just funny. The lot of players look up and wait and grab it. What do I need, like a 45 or higher? Please, my last. I'm back. I'll put you right back. Well, Steph Curry and himself after a unbelievable 44-9. What is that playing? All right, there you go, that one. Uh, I made, um... One, two, three, four. I made five rolls and it was on the fifth one. I rolled like that. Hope. That's right. I gotta get LJ before you.
times did you roll? Damn. <laughs> this guy was working mad hard on that lock. So after about another half a minute, Claudius. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just wrong. laughs> yeah. Finished. Uh, yeah, even the locks are getting harder now. Though. Are we like in a rush trying to get to another room? Mm -mm. All right, I need it's to establish hard. some line of sight. Yeah, we're gonna be stuck between doors, is it? Unless you could teleport to like Miss Warren, Claudius. Hi. There's the room. I want you to break the door down, son. The door, That's how the door's in. You can break one down. The door opens, and you got three rounds. To, before we got three rounds to go in, the, uh, unless we just want to observe first before we just want to go in there into a trap. Um, from what you see inside, it looks to be about a 50 foot wide, 50 foot high hemis hemispherical chamber with weird. Abstract mur murals painted on the ceiling. Ever burning torches in sconces brightly illuminate the room, revealing its contents. At the far end of the room is a large desk heaped with books and scrolls. What looks like a horribly deflated human body is draped over the desk's chair. Um, body. A triangle, a 20 foot diameter symbol is carved into the floor, which appears to be a triangle inscribed within a circle, both inlaid with gold. At the three corners of the inscribed triangle, chained to the stone floor, are three figures wearing crude leather straight jackets fitted with black straps and iron buckles. They appear to be a human male, a gold dwarf male, and a gnome female. The figures are held in place by ankle and wrist manacles, their heavy chains looped around iron rings securely fastened to the floor. Suddenly arcs of black lightning leap from their eyes. The three figures collapse into heaps of ash on the floor. Leaving behind what the fuck? nothing but charred straight jackets and burnt buckles. What caused that? What what caused them to do that? Uh, can I let them do a heel check? To find out the source. I guess the question is, I mean, that's what you guys see when the door opens, and then the doors. We're probably gonna let it close. I don't think we're gonna go in there yet. I would say the doors start to close as you're watching that scene. I don't know if you want to reopen them. Uh, when Valenum gets the order. I don't know if he wants to talk or what. Go. Nah, let's go open the other door. Let that one close. All right. At least we see what's in there. He just said it was a trap first, and then he rolls a 46. That's enough to open, right? Yeah. All right. All right, so what you see is, um... Huh. It looks like a way to get back to, to get down to level three, right? He looks down there. Uh, you see... He has 180 feet dark. You see another here. Ready. See, this one's a 20-foot wide shaft like the other one, and this one drops, yeah, in, uh, from, yeah, about 100, over, over 100 feet down to level three. Complex. Yeah, so um, so he lets Valino know. It looks like 
There is a way to get back to get down to level three as well. This right. is Shaft. So let's go into his room and see if we could gather any useful in information before we All head right. down. Um, Marathon, when the door opened, were you able to detect any magical enchantments in that room, covered with that with that um wound? Any potential traps in the area? Clark is gonna open the door. Other one. Can I just take fifteen? You can take twenty. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> Cut up, It'll be two minutes working third, on it. Oh, third row. Jesus, right. man. Um, yo, this put in, yo, this put in like rope. Ropes, <laughs> it's like a good thing there's thing. no. Uh, I don't think good thing nobody has any one round bluffs. I mean, bluffs. One round buffs. <laughs> one round per level buffs. They were oh like, God, God damn it, my buff is over. Uh, <laughs> no buff is over. That's for sure. Um, all right, so the door opens, so you guys got three rounds to get in. Mirafly and he immediately looks around with his arcane sight before anybody goes in. He says the only magic that he can spot is um is a, a lingering, a strong aura in the center of that circle. But he says it looks like the magic that was used from there is already gone. It's just a lingering aura, and the aura is. It's not strong aura. It's a lingering aura that's faint. We should all go in, but no so one. He's like the magic that was used is already in, it was already done in use, so it's just an aura that's gonna linger there. Obviously, the stronger the aura, the longer it'll last there. So, say this was a strong aura, right. I think it, I think the aura would last like days. Right. Um. What you call it? You know what spell? Have you have you checked out that uh, the greater detect magic spell? Greater, there's a greater detect magic spell. From it's from Ultimate Intrigue. I, I, I did it. I, I don't even. I didn't even know that spell existed. To be honest. It, yeah, no, it just came out. It was in that that Ultimate Intrigue book that just came oh, out. Oh, it is. Yeah. What does it do? When you get the chance, read it. It's extremely detailed. It's. What it, level? It, what level spell is that? It fucking. Um, I think it's only second. Oh, yeah? I got to look into that shit. I didn't even know. Well, because I saw it, and I'm like, what could... What could... That? I'm like, what the heck could a greater detect magic do? And it, uh... Oh, my God. What? What? A Wonder Woman movie. Oh, what about it? Did she just finish filming it? <sighs> what? There's something wrong? Yeah, she was the only person that was going to on you. Oh, there's one a pig with her there? I'm She's the only one. The right She's now. the only one that doesn't. Oh my god! All right. Dude, you know they casted her wrong now. Now, now they made it blatantly clear we fucked up casting her. Like we knew what we should have went for, and yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> um, detect magic greater. Same. Everything about it is the same. Concentration, one minute per level, sixty foot cone. Except that you can glean much more information from the auras that you find. I and always felt that that the tech magic was very lacking. And like, well, like, those like, and those auras can be found after a much greater length of time. You can detect a lingering aura for up to one day per cast the level you have, regardless of the aura's original strength. Additionally, when you use a standard action to concentrate on this spell, you can also study a creature within the spell's area and attempt the spellcraft check in order to, to, to in order to determine the last spell that that creature cast by identifying lingering traces that the spell left in the caster's aura. Ooh, nice. The DC to identify the spell is equal to 20 plus the creature's caster level. Finally, you are able to locate and analyze the signature flourishes in a magical aura that allow you to match a spell to the person who cast it. In order to find these identifiers in the spell's aura, you must spend one round focusing on that spell in particular, succeed, and succeed at an opposed knowledge arcana check against the caster. Or a knowledge arcana check with a DC equal to 15 plus the spell level if the caster wants his work to be identified and emphasizes these unique elements rather than obscuring them. 
Once you learn to cast a set of identifiers, you can remember them as easily as a face or a voice. You can recognize the signature if you succeed at a spellcraft check when later identifying a spell to determine whether or not that spell was cast by the same individual. So, say you see an enchantment aura on somebody, and then you're able you're able to um. So the creature within the spells area and in order to the last spell that the creature cast. So say you uh, find an enchantment aura and you learn that it was some kind of charm spell on the person, and you cast a spell and you cast the te greater magic and you and you sense the enchantment aura. You can um watch you can then roll uh, an opposed knowledge arcana check with whoever the caster was and if you win you're able to study the special identity special identifiers within the within the aura that match only to the caster that casts that spell so if you come upon a spell that the caster if you come upon another spell with the same identifiers then you'll know it's from the same caster it's like a way of you can pinpoint like who the spell actually belongs to. All right. Kind of like a detect. Kind of like most. Of, it's got more like a detective work to the to this version. Right. To the to this to the spell. I was like, I was well, like, I'm that's pretty spell, crazy. Like, trying to investigate a crime. <laughs> yeah. Who the spell is responsible for it? Mm. Like yeah. yeah, like let's say you find you know a dead body and you, you and then you sense like a lingering necromancy or and you're like all right somebody got killed by a necromancy spell here, and then you. Pass the knowledge arcana, and you and you and you memorize and and um, uh, what's You're able to uh, memorize and, and and identify the elements of the spell, and then say, um, say you're fighting somebody later on, and you know they cast a spell, and you do the detect magic, greater detect magic, and then you and then and then you succeed at the the opposed check, and then it. To uh, to to study the identifiers of the aura, um, if it if it matches the one, obviously if it, um, if it matches the one for the uh, for the necromancy spell that you saw that that you for the necromancy aura that you saw like early in the quest, then you know it's the same exact mm. caster, which is pretty crazy. I was like, oh shit, some fucking fairy tale type shit. Was... <laughs> but um. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spell. Also, I, mean, I was gonna open that that spell also had one added caveat. Like when you cast it on the lingering aura, you know what spell actually got cast. Like, oh shit, that's I a freaking dominant person I spell. Thought it said How that come they don't here? have a spell like that? I could have swore I thought I said it in here. Hold on. When you use a standard action to concentrate on this spell, you can study a creature within the spell's area. Attempt a spellcraft check. No. That's a lot of time I'm trying to do this. I roll the high spell crap, and you tell me, ah, oh, you only know that it's from the school of abjuration and evocation, but then I have to, like, guess to me, try and pinpoint what spell could be, which it could be freaking at hundreds of Then we, we we need a spell that actually, like, you cast it, you know what freaking spell that cast. That's what wizards do. Research. Make uh, life yeah. easier. No, I know, I know what you're talking about. I thought I saw a spell like that. It might have not been in he in here. I thought I saw it somewhere else. I gotta ask questions. I don't get the second paragraph of this spell. I need to I need to ask questions about that one. <laughs> it says additionally. It says you can study a creature within the spell's area. I'm guessing you know the area of detect magic, and attempt a spellcraft check in order to determine the last spell that the creature cast by identifying lingering traces, traces that the spell left in the castle's aura. The DC to identify the spell is equal to 20 plus the creature's castle level. Huh. I guess this spell lets you learn what was the last spell the creature cast. Mm. So in a sense it does do that. This one does. But I know what you're saying. Like, if you see an aura, you want to know like what exact spell. For, it was. for example, let's not let's like this this um beholder's door. You told me what the effect are through a spell crash check, but I, you haven't like really told me what the actual name of the spell is because I don't know. I only know what the effect is. Yeah, unless yeah. there's like a 
you you can identify a spell with a spellcraft check if there's something um if there's some visible effect about it like if there's a if there's a wall of fire and you spellcraft it you know and you'll be able to know that it's an actual wall of fire spell and not just like a sheet of flame you know like yeah, but sometimes it's like with a check oh. magic that it's invisible i wouldn't be able to though oh uh, like a trap traps don't like yeah, I know. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's well, yeah, there's no. Yeah, you'll sense the aura, but you won't know like what. It, what it, you're right. You won't know exactly right. what will happen. You know, like that scroll that you try to get a whole bunch of levels ago. That if we read it, you know, something happens to your mind. Like there's no way for me to know what spell been casting on that shit. But um, yeah, it's alright. Maybe Claudius will research that spell, make a level three spell. Identify spell. There you go. <laughs> like Diablo. I need to ask, I'll, I'll probably ask on the boards. I thought I saw there's a spell like that. It's the greater one. Oh. Uh, 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 I guess Sluista. Um, said the greater one. Greater Arcane Sight does that? Maybe Greater Arcane Sight does that. Jesus, that's too high levels for such a gimmick. It's like a level 7 spell. Gotta be like level 14 and above. <laughs> no, I mean, like, that's something that you should be able to do as a low level mage, like, know what spell that is, you know? It's just identifying. It's not like you're casting a freaking, like, an improved meta magic fireball times 10. Maximize wow, the yeah. power. <laughs> it is greater arcane. Get the fuck out of here. That's all, like, so spell... really, that's all. This spell, this spell spell. functions like Arcane Sight, except that you automatically know which spells or magical effects are active upon any individual object you see. Yeah, no, fuck that. We need a, a weaker version <laughs> yeah. of that. Just to identify spells. They don't have to be an aura constantly on. Something that you have to ex expend resources. Maybe like a level 1 spell or something. Like make that into a wand. Shit. I guess so. But anyway. Um, so you who went in there? You went in there first? I thought we all were going in. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, he senses, like I said, he senses a. No one goes to the center of the room. He senses a lingering transmutation aura where they had just, you know, where that, whatever that was, that ritual, that strange ritual had just, between these, the points of this triangle had just, um, where they had just disintegrated from. The characters, what the fuck? Um, yeah, yeah, move your, yeah, everybody move their characters into the room. Where in the room in do you want? Go in the where in the room do you want to be situated? Uh, yeah, I'm already where I want to be. Who moved Metal? Oh, that's his. Just <laughs> daring secretly moving Metal. Arcane Sight does the same thing. It just lets you know the school. And Arcane Sight Greater is the only one that specifically says you know which spells or magical effects. Like, that's the only one that actually tells you the exact fucking spell. That's crazy. People so level 7 spell, spell shit. It's gonna really I mean, it does all other good yeah. stuff too, but just specifically the one to identify spells. That's it. I know. Um, okay. General Justice title character, 43 lines of dialogue. Civil War side character cameo, 47 lines of dialogue. Here. Where is Metzawa? I don't even see him on the map. Metzawa disappeared? Oh, he's all the way over there. Oh, I see him. He's on the side of the room. The only person outside the room is Zion. No, I'm coming inside. Zion was the only person I see outside. Oh, I'm coming inside. He's staying out there to guard the place. <laughs> 
by all means. All right. Uh, um, right here. This room. We just got. We just came into a disintegration chamber. Everybody, roll a, everybody, roll a forty to save. Okay. <laughs> said, everybody roll a forty to save. If it's below zero, disintegrated. Can't use action points. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so when you guys you know enter the chamber, you see that it's fifty foot wide, fifty foot high, with weird abstract murals painted on the ceiling. Um, the room is you know all these ever burning torches will keep it pretty good, good lighting in here. Um, no, remember my contingency that if my if Crawley's body gets destroyed, his mind and power goes into mess with our body. <laughs> So yeah, as everybody gets inside and situates themselves, the doors behind you close. And it's other than like the noises that are emanating from like your your persons, you know, your your gear and whatnot, everything else in the room appears to be pretty quiet. Um, your thumbs looking around with his arcane sight. Yep. And um, he's like, he's looking around, he's like, odd. He's like, well, what can we make of this? Uh, let's go see what we can make of this diagram. And With Belenum, I'd like to go into like the, uh, the ashes. Is it possible to, to uh, determine cause of death with heal? Even though it's like the flies complete ash. The cause of death is clear. It is. To, turn the ash, to turn the ash from an evil ritual. <laughs> oh, okay. Evil ritual well, turned well, them to the ash and sucked, sucked their life force for some dark purpose. Um, the audience uh, moves up to relate now and he starts to examine the. What's the purpose of this? Um, Single of power pentagram, obviously for some sort as of self casting uh, ritual. Um, does he does have knowledge of kind or what? Yeah, as you go to study it, you. Um, he tells right right he tells Nirthod and Shens into a system. Was that a plus four? So it's Arcana? Uh, Nirthod and, and, and Cynthia's a system? Well, yeah, well, as, as you're about to examine it, right above, right, up, right at the top of the room, and on the two sides and on the sides of the room uh -huh. um the walls open up into these deep alcoves and stepping out from the alcoves two stone golems <laughs> nothing's ever easy from above floating down and as he's floating down or it a bloated sphere with Nine flailing eye stalks. <gasps> it's floating down with pale green fluid weeping from knobby, festering sores covering its body. It, it hovers, awesome. it hovers there, and as it's hovering there, there's black lightnings crackling every now and then throughout its form. Claudius recognizes the whole party recognizes, except for yeah, no, the whole party recognizes except this myself. creature except for Metzor. Um, Even Zino met him. Zino was, I think, yeah, Zino was with him. you. Remember? Then he got uh, paralyzed, I think, or put to sleep. Something happened. He got put to sleep. With sleeping gas. Oh, oh yeah, he yeah, got put. Yeah, that's right. He got put to sleep, so he didn't get to see him either. That's right. Right. Exactly. He never got to see him that Put him to sleep. Put the gunslinger out real quick. They were like, take him out quick. Yeah. <laughs> um, what we call it? So he didn't really see it yet. So everybody but Meso and Zino, you've, you've seen, you've seen Orbis before, way back when you were when you were rescuing enslaved, you know, uh, destroying a slave ring on the ground from hobgoblins and 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 a, and a half dwarf, half troll. Except, except there's a new description to his features, which which I which I just described the the tar like the, the green the. Uh, well, yeah. Well, now he now well you notice that he has nine sto ice stalks instead of ten, and he's got this oh, pale and he's got so he has one less. He has one less, and he's, he's got, got a death tyrant. And he's got um, 
And he's got a pale green fluid weeping from knobby, festering sores covering its body. Um, no. No, there's nothing about him that, that's, that, no, that indicates the black lightning. undead. The black lightning? No, for, well, the ritual looks planar in, in origin. Not, not so, not necromantic. Well, well, the same thing all the check. Um, in the center of his eye, that center eye, you can, you can seem to make out like a, like a, a like a, uh, a fat, fiendish facial expression, like, screaming and, like, as if it was trapped inside, as if it was like the soul of a, of a, of a fiendish creature trapped, in, trapped inside and empowering this beholder. You can see like the reflection. You can see like the reflection of that, that spirit that's bound to Orbis right now. Um, oh, so he's giving the monarch with, power within to the, the as, as an image within its central eye. Mm, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Um. So yeah, he's like, allow me to explain. But first. I want to hear him say what he's going to say. Um, he's like, but first, you will be bowing in chains. Glorious ghost like to mess you all. That is him. Morbius. My large nemesis. We meet once again. I think you leave this room tonight. And, um... Oh, my gosh, that was Will, um, that's a good stopping point right there. We're staring at We're staring at bitch! Now, well, um... <laughs> Man, you guys got to this guy quick. I was like... <laughs> you asshole! Cause I was looking Let at I, I, I was looking at the I was looking at the map and I'm like, wait, is this is this the room that he's in already? I'm like, well, that was quick. Yo, 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 we did a team. I'm indicated we're gonna get to you know waste more of our precious resources than we already depleted on. Right. I I honestly didn't expect. I that I honestly didn't expect that. You you figure that his you figure that the the, the lair would be on the bottom level. They they had that shit on, on right there, the second level, like the first second. You know level. what keeps me in? You know what keeps me like, in? I'm gonna keep it in character. The fact that this they made it like so difficult just to get to the second level. I'm like, yo, hold on. Let's check this shit out first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you have to be flying and getting through the reach. doorways and all that other shit. Yeah, Inkling tells you it's level, it takes the rest of the resources to explore level 3, I'm like, no, 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 level 2. Mega Balls must be up here. And not only that, he tell me, hold it. Well, all this was using his seven. That means I'm about to blow. There's no big deal for him to just go to the second level. No problem. Let me be just freaking flat. Man, I thought that like you were... I feel like you were gonna have him as Valantru first and then like turn into a freaking like, you know, like Ultra Beast from Sega Genesis. Oh, Valantru's, <laughs> Valantru's there, but, um... Oh, the skin? The skin that you described? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did say that. I was like, oh, I'm like, yeah, is that You were like, wait, what the fuck is that? It was a, a horribly deflated human body draped over the desk. Yeah, yeah, you looked at it. I knew it was him. I knew it was his body. I'm like, oh, that dude, he ain't fucking around as Valantru. He's fighting in his full might Yeah, glory, that's huh? that mundane disguise check. He, he squeezed himself in the human inflatable body. And just... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, let me stop that. Let me stop. That would be, that would be insane. No. <laughs> that's beyond believability, even for a fucking fantasy game. It's like... <laughs> no, you'll, um, I, you, your, your characters will understand once they inspect that thing further. Because surprisingly, uh, Mirthon did. Mirthon was looking in that direction, but he only sensed one aura. He only sensed one what? He only had sensed one aura, and 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 that was that was in that was in the area where the where the diagram where the the ritual was at. But he didn't he didn't sense any aura off the uh, off the that deflatable uh, that deflated you know looking. Human body looking thing, you know, that draped 
right. object, which I, I mean that could mean obviously many things. It's it's either got it's either crafted that way to not be detected, but you know it's got maybe it's got a magic aura on it, or a nice little magic aura, or maybe it has non detection, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, like I said, it, obviously it's something you'll investigate once you get the time. Right, non detection sounds very possible. But, um, but yeah, but it is obvious that whatever that is is what he was using to pose as the launcher. Right, right. I mean, you got stupid things like hat of disguise. I'm sure you can make skins that if you put it on, it makes you appear like, you know, I'm sure there's magic items that make you that you create. It gives you the, you know, the uh, biology or, or anomaly or whatever, the anatomy. That's the word of a human being or an elf, whatever. I'm sure there's a way to mimic that. Actually, biological bodies. Shouldn't roll, be actually, I guess you could roll a knowledge arcana. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that actually. My knowledge arcana. Let's see how high it is. If you get a really high. If you get a pretty high, Claudius will probably already know. I have a good idea. That'd be perfect. Then you can put on hope on what's up, and we go over here. I guess. I was gonna have Cynthia and Mirthon like eight another, but I guess it's too late now since we have an encounter, right? Well, yeah, so just no, go, um, yeah. Well, this is from like looking at it, like just, from just, just it, like right? just from looking at it and glancing at it, and okay. kind of piecing, trying basically like you know when you see something weird and you look at it and you're trying to figure out what it is, like right. This will this will be what that check is. So Claudius is aware. Claudius is aware that it is definitely that it is a um a suit, a magical suit that requires um extremely potent magic. Um, one of them being limited. One of them being a limited wish spell involved in its creation. And, and it's a uh, it's a strong because because of your. Well, because of your, skin, because of because of your, you know, your intelligence and all the books you studied and your background, especially concerning the background of your of your cabal, and their penchant for training beguilers, you're w very well versed in things involving illusions. Illusion, deception. Um, yep. This, uh, these are this what this what this item what that item you see draped over is actually a rare, a rare magic item that's not often seen. Known as a simulacrum suit, the potent magical disguise yeah. that can be used to defeat even the most minute inspection. When created, nice. when created, the user actually has to collect a body part from a donor creature, as if they were preparing to cast a simulacrum spell. And the creator of the suit then builds a rough costume that approximates the donor's creature's shape, size, and appearance. Incorporating the body part into the costume in some manner. Uh, the donor creature must be an aberration animal, dragon, fade, giant, humanoid, magical beast, monstrous humanoid, ooze plant, or vermin. It cannot have more hit dice than the creator's castle level. Once created, the suit may be worn by any creature that is within at least one size category of the suit. Thus, the simulacrum suit of a human could be worn by a small, medium, or large creature. Uh, when a creature wears it, they are physically transformed into that creature as if by a polymorph spell. Once the suit is worn, the powerful magic cloaks itself from detection. Divination spells cannot detect the magic of the suit, and even true seeing is defeated by the suit's potent warding. Get the fuck out of here. That's very rare. For Not all, even true seeing would work with that. For, even all, then we have... for all this, however, the suit can still be recognized as a disguise. Um... But it does at least provide an extra plus ten circumstance bonus on the disguise check. But if an observer detects the ruse, they can tell that the wearer is disguising their appearance somehow. Regular perception, right? Regular okay. perception. Of course, Valantru never gave any. And usually, you, um, in all cases, you roll a perception if your character has a has a suspicion. Yeah, You're has a suspected. suspicion. So there was no. Yeah, your character never suspected that he was. Uh, dis, in disguise at any point right. so 
Um, Cause he, he got a good well, that he title. wasn't who he, you know. Yeah, he, he was a, a noble lord of some sort, you know. So he already had a good reputation. I mean, I thought that dude was Bruce Wayne for a second now. Yeah, he's not. The the creature can remove. Nah, I don't feel that matter. Take the, him out. A creature can remove the suit. Oh, that's from okay. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, but upon the wearer of a suit, suit. the wearer of a suit may remove it as a full round action that provokes an attack of opportunity. An unworn Samarlacum suit looks like a deflated skin of the creature it represents. Actually, wait. When a creature no, once the suit, oh, once yeah, the like. suit. Okay, no, no. So, so he does sense a magic aura on it. He senses a strong illusion aura on that oh. suit. Yeah, it specifically says once the suit is worn, then it. Detect, then it cloaks itself from detection, but once it, once the, mm-hmm. once the suit is off, you can, it, it has you can sense its aura. Okay, so yeah, he senses a strong aura. A magic senses a strong aura from the suit itself. Right. And uh, you know rep- makes it you know once he tells you know, that's what it was. Once he tells Claudius that Claudius was able to make the rest of the connection, and remembers reading and remembers reading about this particular item that's very highly. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. so the, the secrets the secrets of his creation is highly highly sought after and prized uh, I bet mm, so that's how you fool that which means the real Volantru was some poor hapless guy that got his that was killed off and the body part of his was used <laughs> so to that. create the <laughs> But um, like alrighty, um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Orbis. Man, we, we got to the Mega Balls already. We got to Orbis, <laughs> man. Orbis ever since chapter one. Is this one with the Mega Balls? Or we, you got some, like, we've been doing like freaking like encounters over encounters with no resting. What the fuck? <laughs> you got all these mini bosses just all in one place. Jesus, I didn't even uh, hope. Yeah, I'm glad we had no other encounter before this one because I was like. Yo, if we don't get oh. two levels, I'm going to be mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with one level. I'm going with one level. I don't want to get level 22 fast either. Yeah. But, but, but if you only give us one level, just give us a lot of loot in here, though. Yes. Oh, there's a, I got to go through all that. Your characters did pick up a lot of that. That's what I'm talking about. Don't no, no, worry, Antonio. The magical gear will make up for the loss. I'm definitely hyped for level 15. I get an area effect, uh, fear effect. I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. Really? Nice. You got a what? Uh, I have uh, an ability that allows me to use one round as long as I have a grid point, and all creatures within 30 feet are subject to a fear spell. Really? Yeah. That should probably stacks with, like, Kai. That's a D? Yeah. It, it's an ability. It, it comes with one of my, it, yeah, level 15. That sounds pretty good. I'll show you. Uh, it's as good as a sound. Menacing shot at 15. I can spend a grip point oh, shoot up. A uh, bullet in the air. All living creatures within a 30 foot radius are subject to a fear spell. 30 foot radius? That's huge. Yeah. Oh, that's I forgot thing. about they that, man. They got, sh- they got so much fucking deeds. I'm like, I forgot about that shit. I was like, oh, yeah. Basically, I'm going to be like, I'm going to like, I'm going to scatter. Fuck out of here. I get a, I get a uncanny dodge and unproved candy dodge next level. And evasion. Like, I'm, I'm set for level 15. Oh, nice. 15, yeah, 15 gets some good shit. 15 gets uncanny dodge, improved uncanny dodge, and evasion. All at, Damn, all at the same time. Same it's time. like this dude became a rogue. So it's like you took it's like you took three levels of rogue, yo, in one level. Plus you're done some other shit. Shoot, not even three. When do you get improving candy dodge? Isn't that uh Level four. four. I think it's level four. No way, that's level seven. No, that's like seven. The the regular uncanny dodge is what, level four? Um, yeah. And then improved is no, improved is eight. Then, Holy shit. Eight, yeah. And then evasion is level two for a rogue. Yeah, evasion. So you got like a two. whole bunch of rogues to be on, like capstone rogue to in one level. And so, what's Slinger's luck? You spend a grit to re-roll a save or a sk- Goddamn. <laughs> Wait, is that level 15 ability too? Yeah. That's a level 15 ability too. Well, it sounds like you spend a grit to re-roll a save and throw or a skill check. And it costs two grit points to re-roll a save and throw and one to re-roll a skill check. You must take the result of the second roll. 
this only thing that we reduced the Mitsaki part was the cabaret. Oh, shit, no wonder they had that. Exactly. Slinger's luck. Mm. Look at that shit. That's gonna be luck, you know? I guess it's gonna be like the cap's on the Be like, like you failed your it. reflex. You take. Put that together with the feet stays good. You take 60 go. points of the. Nope. You re roll that shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Desperado in the shit. <laughs> Yo. And not only that, man, we, we, we gonna get Bentley A too. Oh, man. Sina's gonna be a beast, son. What's that? 19th level. 19th level, jeez. 19th level is. Whenever you're reduced to z cheat death, whenever you're reduced to zero or fewer hit points, you can just use all your grip points to just instead be reduced to one hit point. Uh -huh. So if he's at like 10 HP and I and somebody power attacks him for like fucking 80 damage, he could just spend all his grit and stay at one hit point. <laughs> like, like what? That's pretty bad, like. What yeah. if you only have like five grip points left out of 10? That's why you have 10 total, and you, and you got 5 left. Does that count, or you got to have 3 good points? You know, it just... It's just, all, it's just spend, spend all, all your remaining. Left. So even if you have 1 left, you have to have a minimum of 1. Even if you have you 1 left. That's how it works? <laughs> yeah. As long as you have 1 left, oh, that's funny. Like, uh, <laughs> hold on, there has to be a limit. One time per day, I bet, right? No. No. <laughs> that sounds stupid, man. That sounds pretty... But then again, it's level 19. You're supposed it's to be 19, and then, um, so you're getting, 19, you're getting hit by things that deal a lot of damage. And then, yeah, you're probably gonna be using and then it now. spends all your grip points, which means after you survive with just one hit point, you gotta get healed yeah, quick, and, and, and you can't do it again. Once I have no grip points, a lot of my, I can't use a lot of my abilities. He'll have like to I take, he'll have to, he'll that. have to get a crit, or quickly take somebody down that's strong right. enough. Or, but, or, um, actually good. there's a, um, there's, there's a, there's a, uh, shit, what are they, uh, what are they called? They're called, um, daring, not daring deeds. Daring deeds? The ones, yeah, the ones where you do something, you do something, like you, yeah, you, you could, uh, double move to run, you, you could double move to move away from the fight and you get a grip point, and there was, like, another one you could do. Like, you could get grip points by, like, doing, more, oh, you do, you do more, like, defensive measures to, like, try and get a grip point instead of trying to do Thank something... You. Crazy. He just mentioned a good synergy right there. The more point, good point. Like you happen to use all your good point. Yeah, I, I forgot what it was called, but it was, like, it was like the only thing. It was like in order, f it was they're like things that you do to um. Yeah, like for the one he's talking, about, like the double your move to speed. I have to run at least a hundred feet away from my closest enemy to get a grip point back. That's yeah. That's one of them. There was like you know what's like a, you know a good magical item for you? What? Something that gives invisibility, like me, like cloak of invisibility. When you like, if people surrounding you and shit, you're like, oh shit, the invisibility, and then like escape. Mm -hmm. Where is it? What are they called? Dares. That's what they're called. Desperate evasion. They call it dares. They are, um, wait, a dare can be taken in place, oh, oh, you choose these, okay. A dare can be taken in place of one of the bonus feats a gunslinger gains. Um, a gunslinger can choose to have multiple dares, but can only pick one to be active each time they reach zero grit. Once chosen, they cannot, the dare cannot be changed until the gunslinger reaches zero grit. Okay, so when you reach zero grit, so like this desperate evasion, while you activate this dare, you gain the evasion class feature. If if you already have this feature, while this dare is active, you roll twice when making a reflex save and take the higher result. You regain one grit when you succeed at two reflex saves while using this dare. So like if you run at grit points, these are abilities that you gain to like make up for the fact that you have no grit to use. And then once you gain your grip point back, you obviously you know you don't gain you don't use you don't get the 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 ability anymore until until you drop back down to zero grit again. But it's like something it's like something to help benefit you while you're trying to get your grit back, pretty much. 
since like a lot of your abilities rely on you having at least one grit. If you're down, mm-hmm. to, if you're down to zero, you're fucked. So these are like abilities that you could take to like help you help unfuck yourself. <laughs> there's so many abilities that require. At least so far, one. there's only like there's only four. Yeah, there's only four. Frantically nimble gives you plus two to your AC, and you gain a you regain one grit. When an enemy making a ranger melee attack misses you three consecutive times. And then the attacks need not come from the same enemy. So if you, somebody missed you three times, you got a grip point back. Out for blood increases your critical range. And run like, run like hell, that's what it was called. <laughs> while it's active, your speed increases by ten feet. And, and you retain your dexterity bonus to your AC while running. You regain one grit. Point the first time you were more than a hundred feet away from your closest enemy. Uh, all right. So we uh, what's next? We good for uh, Thursday? Yeah, I should be there. Not you. Me, not you. You said they give you a week's notice. notice? Yeah, I said it last week. When? I said it on WhatsApp. Oh, I must have missed it. I said in the shack. I didn't put it. I I put in the Shackle City thing. I don't. I don't put that shit in the basement boys thing. Put in Shackle City thing because I know you see it. Well, um, all right then. Well, if you can't, just let me know. Um, so I can let everybody else know. All right, you guys. Yeah, babe. Yeah, I already took him. Took him an hour ago. All righty. Well. We'll get a seven point. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. Later. Um, Antonio, I think uh, stop by tomorrow to grab on. Oh, wait. Is it tomorrow? Ah, crap. No, she's got to take my son. She's got to take our son to freaking... She won't get out to like, six. If I can't grab that... T- if I can't grab those shells tomorrow, uh, definitely, definitely Wednesday. Alright, I'll, all right, well, I'm here all day tomorrow, so um, if anything changes, just let me know. Alrighty, sure thing. Good luck. Alright. Alright, guys. Later.